thing we can do. I'm gonna be honest. Unless uh, some changes come, some sort of something, something, you know. But guys, you can never. The thing is, like with Darko, all these guys clear. Like I'm, I'm assuming they get paid change. and they're making their bread. You know what I'm saying? Like they deserve to get paid and make their bread. But for me, like I've always operated, just have people who worked for me. Like up until a certain point, like people didn't realize, like I did a lot of work for the shit that line got. I mean, kind of rely on the devs, which I personally just hate doing because they're always just too busy, rightfully so, you know? Well, uh, no, I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think. What can we do? There's got to be something we can do, Zay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can have a talk with um, Penny and the other managers to see if, uh, if there's anything else we can do ourselves. Because um, it's better to be proactive rather than just sitting and waiting, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, let's just say... Uh, employee morale is good we always have typically we always have like full staff on hand and more people that want to cock in that can't cock in because there's so much staff here uh it's just that uh obviously dead moments like now or for the past two hours it's, it really hurts not only the restaurant but um well it hurts morale right like you're just standing here all day for no yeah. reason you know i've sat here for two hours yeah, I mean, I literally just saw you standing on the fucking roof looking into the sky. <laughs> I gotta get a, some fresh air, man, you know. I mean, look at this shit, chat. Come on, like, he literally made this. Like, look at that. I mean, I don't know if we have new viewers to see, but like, I'll show you guys, like, we've already seen the restaurant. Let's go look at some crazy shit that he's done. Like, he literally made this gong. A gong? Like, look at the details in that. Look at the lighting. Look at every little thing about it. Look at this. Like, look at look, just look, like, look at the ambiance down here. The lighting, the smokiness, like, like, look, like the door being like misplaced, broken wood, dirt covering some of the wood. Like, look at the little fucking details. Like, it's crazy, insane. We have like an old fucking rack here of uh really old spears. The textures are kind of fucked them, I guess now, but you know. Like, it's all rusty and old and shit. And then you got this crazy fucking mask that he made. He literally made this. Just look at the details in the mask. Look at the details on that mask, bro. Like, for a second, you look at it long enough, you don't feel like I'm playing GTA anymore. You know what I mean? You kind of forget you're in GTA for a second. And that's why I love this building. I mean, you guys seen the tunnels. The tunnels is just crazy. And this is not to take a sled or anybody else. Darko is absolutely amazing. Uh, Gabs as well. Absolutely insane. But, you know, for me, just for complete custom work, like, I just don't think anybody comes close to us. I mean, look at the fucking library, dude. Like, Look at the lighting, look at, like feel the atmosphere, you know what I mean? Like it's a cozy library. Look at the books, you can actually read them. You know?
Well, it's not that I don't want anybody else. It's just it's it, it would be weird for me, like with like with Darko for example. It, it would be weird for me to have anybody else but Darko work on the manor. Although sometimes I'm very tempted because I want to get some work done. Even with roosters, it's just weird. Like it's their it's their body of work. <clears throat> you know and then with roosters it's like i don't think anybody can work on roosters and have it look exactly like it looks now i mean even look at this little room here like just look at this setup it's insane And then even just the tunnel is crazy, like, like the fucking rooster, like that right there looks crazy. Like it, his work is just so crazy, dude. I, I admire it every single fucking day, no cap. Is that a server sign above the door? That's not server sign. This is like old lore. These are like, we took this out of Skyrim. Like, uh, you can tell like in the library when like talent used to be full in effect. There's like signs etched throughout like the, the restaurant that means shit. That's part of the reason too why I didn't want to continue town anymore is because I didn't have Moss to help me create shit, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Because we had so many ideas that we were going to pretty much execute, but unfortunately got too busy to keep working, so. We're going to do like a bunch of secret passages, like secret fucking uh, uh, safe houses. It was going to be some crazy shit. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Booter. How are you? Hey, so what's your name, sir? You're new security guy, right? Yep. Uh, my name is Sender. Uh, Sender? Sender. Like, uh, oh, Sender. Uh, pleasure to meet you, sir. Good work earlier, right by the way. Have you been here all day? How long have you been here already? <laughs> Do you really want the answer to that? Yes. Oh, dear. Um, I spoke to Zay last uh, two tsunamis ago, I would say. Wait, you were been here that whole time? You've been here yep. that whole time? Jeez. Why? 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 Because the train conductor said, "Get on the train." Damn, I feel you. you gotta make, you gotta make most wow. of the opportunity, right? Yeah, exactly. Damn. God, well, man, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, the place is, uh, you know, a dead shithole. I'm literally just walking right. around trying to think of what I can do to bring some life back into this fucking shit. Mm, no, I understand. I mean, you have mm. nothing to apologize for. You know, I'm, there's a lot of events going on in the city, so. I, mean, I think. I mean. I think it was just uh, a lot of it is we suffer from location because everyone wanted to go to Little Soul, I guess. So now every restaurant is in Little Soul. Exactly. Yeah. And people are lazy. Um. So I know also I work with the uh, with Cassandra Silverton at That's Weird. And uh, we were looking at the location in this area, too. Mm -hmm. I like Vinewood. It's a nice yeah, so place. yeah, we definitely are trying to bring more businesses up here. I think I think the biggest uh, factor right now is the pausing on the storefronts, right? Uh, a lot of businesses oh, are kind of just waiting, so and I'm hoping a lot yeah. of them migrate up north uh, once that shit starts popping off, and then hopefully bring some more people up here. Yeah, Sunny and I have been waiting for like any and any information on that. If you get a storefront, let me decorate it with more. Thank you very much. Hell yeah, uh, I got to make a phone call real quick, guys. But diamond hands, I guess, guys. Diamond hands. Diamond hands. <laughs> how's uh how's business been like? Down horrendous. We have had. Hello. Hey, Nancy. Sorry, I was caught up in a fucking long ass meeting. Uh, what's up? What's going on? Um, I need some more wingsuits. All right, how many you need? Um, probably like having five or more on deck would be good. I have four that need to be delivered, and then just having some spares if you're not around in the next couple of days would be nice too. All right, I'll make you. I mean, I'll be around. Uh, but I'll make you ten. 
Uh, okay. Where also, Where is the storage in the club? Where is it at exactly? It's in that manager's office at the back. There's a big filing cabinet. Okay, perfect. I'll, I'll throw them in there. I dropped off all of the ones for SDSO and then charged them an extra 10k saying I would come back and give them a training seminar. Oh, hell yeah. So, it's... They already know how to use it. They don't understand that it's just going to be me telling them what the basic controls are. But I figured if I can just juice more money from the PD, it would be a good idea. Yeah, juice the fuck out of P the PD, you know? Fuck them. That's what I'm but, doing. Uh, I'm going to head to the spot right now. I'm going to make 10. I'll drop them off. Uh, probably like 10 minutes will be in the stash, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, keep it up, Nancy. We also got to talk wine this week, but we can just save that for Monday. And and arena at some point, too. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Nancy. That does... No... I just don't listen unless what to save the arena we we need to abandon the idea of any sort of uh i mean i don't know like we would have to do new things in there that other people don't do but i just the arcade we can't compete with the arcade unfortunately the, the arcade has everything that we've always wanted the arena to have and that's automatic systems that uh remove the stress of us having to uh, micromanage every little thing and then actually allow us to expand on the idea we just never had that yeah, and it's heartbreaking. Oh, it's absolutely heartbreaking. I mean, Jaeger is doing, uh, and I'm happy for him, don't get me wrong, but he's doing a whole esports so league, you know, franchising teams, all this shit, because everything for him is automated, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, like the headaches, everything. The, the headaches of people going down and having to pick them up and reset sides and all that shit. Like, people, if they have the choice to not deal with that and just go to a place where everything is done for them, uh, we just, there's just, I just don't see how we compete with that. Yeah, and I went, and it was so bittersweet, because I was like, this is amazing, and obviously I'm happy for them, but at the same time, I'm like, I've been asking for this stuff for six months. Oh, no, know? trust me, I, I felt exactly what you felt, I'm not gonna lie. And I've, I've been pushing, and I've been contacting all the right people and doing everything I can, but it's just like... I, yeah. Know. No, trust me, I know. I, I even walked, I was walking around the arena earlier today and just reminiscing about all the drunk adventures I had in there. There was I'm there was such there good fucking right now, times. Actually, yeah. Like I, me and Harry used to get literally borderline blackout in that fucking shithole whenever we had events. Oh man, it was so much fun. I remember I shot him once. Yeah. It was one of my happiest times. Now, with that being said, I do think there are things we can do with the arena. It just can't be. It's got to be like different arena type shit. I just don't know what it is yet. I mean, I've put in requests for like monster trucks or like being able to rent really fun cars or dirt bikes in there and having like cool shit like that so we can you know people can drive monster trucks around and crush cars and all that kind of stuff but what about uh what about like something like horse racing people can just come bent on horse races i don't fucking know i think horses are scouts in the city but i don't know we, we got to think of something i mean yeah that or like weirdly enough like ice skating or you know like, i don't like think ice skating would be possible tag. either laser tag would go in the arcade obviously yeah i the thing tried is, to the talk thing to is... somebody about doing drift tracks and being able to get drift cars in there if there was a way to get a garage where we could drive cars from the outside and put them in i don't drifting know drifting could like, work that can, that can actually a, work the drift school wants to do a partnership like i've been i've been still trying to make the most of what we have but it's it's like i just told you it's heartbreaking yeah i mean Fuck, remember when we had that custom, uh, uh, it's not even worth fucking thinking about that shit. Okay, um, I'm, it's funny, I'm struggling with the same issue with my restaurant. Yeah. The, these fucking rings obliterated the restaurant business. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. They're $500 rings that just allow you not to eat. For the entire day. I think it's for the, I would assume it's for the entire day, maybe a few hours. I think it, but the rings are cheaper than the food the we sell. Which is ridiculous. Like, that doesn't make sense to me either. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm just feeling, like, especially bummed, too, because, like, my, my soap business, which is, like, the one thing I had away from Cerberus, I can't even do that because the market's closed and I can't even get a storefront. All my employees left down. Yeah, the, the storefront being on pause, too, like, is just fucking rough. Because yeah. we, were, we were banking on a lot of traffic going up north, but there's just no traffic anywhere right now because of the storefronts. Exactly. And like literally my employees left town because they were like, well, I, I don't have anything in the city anymore. And so it's like I'm had this business for a year and I have to start from square one again. 
I think I'm just yeah. feeling really bummed out, Lang. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've had a pretty bummy, bummy day too today. I'm not going to lie. I've been Sag farming for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I made nine wingsuits. You want to, I'll come bring them to the club right now. I'll see you there. I, I'm not there. I'm at the arena, but um, I'll pick them up later. All right, Nancy. Listen, diamond hands. Okay. We'll figure it out. We always figure it out. All right. We always, we, always, we always figure everything out. We'll figure it out. We do. We got it. We're allowed to be sad for a bit, but then we will figure it out. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right, Nancy. I love you. Uh, wingsuits uh, in the club, and then Monday we can start talking uh, wine stuff, right? Okay. Sounds good. Go over all that shit. Okay. All right, Nancy. Call me for all right, anything. love you. Bye. Me too. Bye bye. The constant balance of empire crumbling and empire flourishing. Can't have one without the other. Yeah, I mean, I don't think people understand, like, the amount of work that Nancy had to do to make arena events work, like, having to reset the teams, track everybody who gets down, track who's winning, like, it's, it's so much logistical work, like, it's insane. Well, I, I personally, so my mindset with the restaurant is I don't really care about the rings, not in the sense that I don't care about the restaurant, but I'm ready. If I had the ability, I would repurpose what roosters could be. But I, like I said, I can't really do that because I don't have moss anymore. Hey Marty. I'm Buddha. Hey Marty. Listen, can you uh can you do the yacht yet? I'm scared. Why are you scared? <laughs> it's really hard. Ah, it's really that hard, huh? Yeah, it's it's um I I really don't think anyone can do it in the city. Fuck. There's I gotta be something I in that yacht, Marty. There's gotta be. Um, honestly, I don't think so. Really? Why? I think, I think it was because it was, um, it was just fucked in the butt so hard that it's that hard because the, the risk is like nothing. You don't use your yellow and it's only 25k or 300k, right? So it's got to be harder, right? Because before like it was that much money. How the fuck do you get into Polito then, Marty? Oh, I know how to get to Polito. Wait, really? How? Mickey didn't tell you? No. Um, it's attached to the oil oil rig, and the oil rig, I know how to approach it. Where the fuck did you find all this out? I'm guessing, but I think I'm right. So what do we do then? Or what do you think we do? So, so when you get to the oil rig, everyone shoots at you, right? And they're like invincible. Yeah. So just, um, I think, I think, um, submarine go down, down, down because oil rigs aren't fucking Bluetooth, right? They're gotta be attached to something, right? So if you go underwater, 
I think you'll see something that you want to see, and you either follow it or there's something literally just right under it. Boom. I mean, I think it's worth a shot, but uh, Mickey couldn't find a submarine to rent, so we couldn't go. Mm, that would make sense. I know. I'm literally a genius. You sound you like shit. Are you okay, buddy? I just woke up. Oh, shit. All right, go wake up. I don't know. Drink your coffee, jerk off, and then call me. Maybe we'll do something. Okay. Okay. All right, I love you, Marty. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Can I hang up the phone, Buddha? I'm in the middle of Hang up. I don't got Bluetooth. Hang up, motherfucker. I'm in the middle of refueling. I don't got Bluetooth. <laughs> I mean, you can't help but feel bad for Nancy, if I'm being honest. But, I mean, it's just the way of the world, I guess. There's probably hundreds of people on the server you can feel bad for for the, probably the same reasons, right? We just got to be positive, man. Rethink new ideas. Be proactive. Oh, Lang's here. What are you guys doing? Should I come back later? No, I'm being sad. Who is that? Yeah. Uh, Michael. It's Michael. Oh, shit. You're alive. Yeah, so far. Where the fuck have you been, you fucking asshole? I've been busy. Busy with what? Uh, A lot of things. Oh, Traveling. sorry, guys. I got to take this. This is important. One second. You're good. Go for it. Oh my I god, I just for the therapy session. <laughs> you just told me I couldn't do crime for 30 minutes. Yo. Yo, Bane, my man, what's good? Nothing much. So actually, well, there is something about you. What are you uh what are you up to right now? Uh kind of just chilling right now. Why? Okay. Um the DOC in like pff, 10 minutes probably are bringing us down to the arcade. If you want to come fuck around. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be down there for a little while. Yeah, I'll come I'll come by. I'll swing by. Yeah, I'm down. Hell yeah. All right, sweet. We'll be down there. All right, I'll see you there. How long you said? Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but probably for like a little while. I want to say like at, at minimum like an hour. All right, hell yeah. I'll be there. All right. See you then. Bye-bye. I right, see you then. Bye-bye. Well, if you... Anna. Oh, I just no, I don't think I'm ready for my terrorist arc. Thank you, though, Michael. Oh, oh there you go. What's what? What the fuck did you say? I don't know. I She's just down bad, bad. I'm sad. Oh. Yeah. Listen, Nancy. I'm diamond sad. hands, Nancy. I know, but I'm still in my feels. But listen, you know, the arena is dead. Get over it. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. Listen, I don't know how else to put it, Nancy. I know, <laughs> I but it, it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt any less. I've I know. Trust fucking... me. When I walked in there, I started getting flashbacks of all the great events, and I got a little sad. Yeah, I put I put so much time and effort into this place, and it's just... it. This place means a lot to okay, me. Okay, so what happened with reasons. the airsoft guns? I don't know. Ask him. What the fuck would I well, ask this, this guy? Because I... Huh? Uh, he was giving me airsoft guns. Oh, uh, so this is all this motherfucker's fault. I see. Maybe. I feel like I might have been part of it. I see. Look, somebody saw a very good idea and then took and ran with it. In the and opposite took direction. It somewhere else. The fuck yeah. that mean, asshole? <laughs> well, I, I wanted you today... guys to have the airsofts. But... Well, I realized today that you guys just use the arena to test it for the arcade. Holy shit. 
At least I charged you a hundred thousand dollars to do it. <laughs> so what? Are airsoft guns not coming to the arena anymore? No, they guess they'll come there. I feel so. That's the thing, though. I feel like the airsoft is completely different, though. The other one is. It's hard to. I don't know. It, it's a weird thing because people obviously just want to shoot their friends, right? They don't care how. Like, they the, yeah. don't want to do it in my arena. The thing is, the, the, <laughs> no, the biggest difference between the arcade and the arena is the arcade is everything is automated. Hmm. It's way more convenient. I can go in, I can load wanted. in, I can spawn, I can respawn, you know, I can pick a map, I can do all that here, you know. You go down, you gotta get somebody to pick you up, you gotta run the other side, you gotta get a head count, you gotta wait for everybody to be ready. Once both sides are ready, you gotta fucking count it down, you gotta do all this shit. Yeah. There, it's just like, you yeah. just play and you just play until it's done. I, I feel like the difference between those two could be the, uh, the arena has the option to switch things up right whereas right now the maps you play on is literally just points of interest in the city and yeah i don't know they're not all that interesting i i was in the fucking legion legion square like five times and it's awful oh don't get me wrong the map i mean it just goes to show how uh strong something that's just automated is right because those maps are complete ass trash dog shit garbage hmm not to sound like xbox for a second but it's just reality mm -hmm. but uh what makes it fun is i can go you know my boys can pick a team i can pick a team we can pick loadouts it's all i can do it all in 30 seconds yeah here it's like oh grab your paintballs oh ho who needs a gun oh who lost a gun oh who needs this oh go grab this okay switch sides now oh do a head count is everybody here no where's that person at oh he's down okay we gotta find him okay pick him up okay run to that side now it's a whole thing Charge them each individually. Tell them that they have to mumble when they get in the arena. <laughs> yeah, voice is yeah. scuffing. Oh, the announcer said go. Oh, shit. I thought we didn't start yet. Fuck. Now I'm molding. Now I'm molding. You know? <laughs> that's just, uh, unfortunately, the reality. But that's like... <sighs> that's why, like... K... Shit, Nancy. Sorry. Uh huh. That's <laughs> my name. <laughs> um, that's why yeah, like, I call her. I call just... her K Nancy sometimes too. You know. I yeah, know. it's just a wholesome it nickname. Look, a lot of people make mistakes. Okay, it happens. Yeah. Um, that's why. Like you, you still like I told you, you are still good at what you do, even if it's not at the arena. I feel like you still help out with Jaegers things. It's their thing. I don't want to just insert myself into that. I, I can't I even go boosting, Michael. Everything's I, terrible. No, you can Nancy, you can't boost? I'm not in a criminal organization, Lang. I can't boost. I'm not in a gang. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't yeah, do anything, Lang. She's not down bad. She's bad, bad. Like, actually. My soap business is gone. My arena's gone. I can't boost. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't want to be that guy, but, uh, you know, it's a, you know, it's a nice gesture for Jaeger to be like, hey, Nancy, just come do this instead. It's way better. But it's, it, no, this is like her arena, right? It's not the same shit. I, yeah, I know. I, I trust me, I've been trying to get shit done, but well, you the know. people that can do it keep shooting me down. So, all right, Michael, so what the fuck is going on? Oh, who, uh, that's another conversation. Listen, who, uh, who is, what is going on with storefronts? I don't actually know. I thought people could buy them and just do whatever. No, they've been on a standstill for God knows how long now, and it's 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 really bad. Hmm. Hey, like it's really like, bad. Yeah, I've seen some storefronts though. No, there's some only two. Have them. There's only two. There's only the reef and the smoking water. Maybe there's like a few other two that somehow I were Andy able and to get. Andy and Denzel have one. Well, there. So, 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 what the fuck is going on here? I don't know. Uh, I think Dean would know more about that. I think so. The two people in charge of it would be Dean and Francis, I believe. I I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. The idea was that everyone could have a storefront, like they could be you know, out at Dean's world and whatnot. So. All I can do now is ERP. And I can't, I can't be Penny. 
That's her thing. You're gonna be the new ERP queen. No, it's Penny's thing. I can't take that away from her. Why? Why not? All right, I'm gonna sell. Let's sell the arena. Answer. Let's just sell it for twenty million dollars. Go play roulette. Playing no. Come on, twenty <laughs> mil. Yeah, but I put so much effort into this place, I don't want to lose it all at roulette. Well, you could double it, couldn't you? Or, or you lose work. everything. Uh -oh. Well, you already lost everything, so might as well just play some roulette. Oh, thanks, Lang. Why are you just rubbing it? It's all in the wounds, Lang! <laughs> He's just helping you get over it faster. Listen, Nancy, I'm kind of in the same spot. I'm not going to lie to you. I know you are. My well, restaurant business, ground, I don't know how to fix my restaurant. I really don't. Motherfuckers are surviving on fucking rings they put on their fingers. It feels good to just lie on the ground and be sad. Yeah, I know. You I've have, been here for a while. You have two toe, four dodo, three sanitation, one fisher, seven robbers, one impound worker, and four chop shop. That is why the restaurant, my restaurant is failing. Everyone else is running around with rings on. Yeah. I only learned about the rings today as well. I just told him about the rings after I got off the phone with you. Yeah, yeah they cost cheaper than the food we make. There is some issues with everything. Like, I talked to Ash earlier and she's like, we can't sell our food cheaper because that's really what it costs. But everyone else is going to Burger Shop because they can sell it for. Yeah, like Burger Shop can nothing. sell 300 times the food we can sell. And it's the same shit. Yeah. So I feel like there's some stuff that needs to be changed up a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> and then my fucking wine companies is fucking everything's so fucking expensive. Everything's Every terrible. Wait, I have a. Oh my god. What? My son gave me a million dollars. Must be nice. Oh my god. You're gonna oh, go play roulette, fuck. aren't you? Oh fuck, Nancy. Like, this is don't really, do it. really don't, bad. Don't, don't, don't do it. This is like, really please, bad, Nancy. Please don't do it. I'm fighting the urge, Nancy. Don't, don't, don't do it, like. I'm fighting the urge. <laughs> How much money is in your bank account right now? <laughs> a million dollars. That's it? <laughs> yeah, I lost eight million dollars. On okay. roulette? Yeah. Oh god. But, you know, uh, the greatest thing about it is is that was pro i know this might this might sound crazy and like some fucking gambler addiction denial right uh -huh. uh, that was probably one of the best things i've ever done because i realized all the wrong decisions i've made on how i re how do i say this in simplest terms me funneling all the money i was making into a Cerberus account was a horrible idea mm-hmm I went from making like five, six hundred thousand dollars a week doing nothing, and now I get paid less than uh, Dodo drivers. And I think yeah. I'm, and I'm still putting in the same amount of work. Yeah. I think I put in more work than I did before, because I run this business and I do server stuff. Yeah. And I get paid less than I did. So now, do I? Do, so. Was it dumb to lose the money? Of course it was. But it made me realize how much money I'm not making anymore. Before, like, you know, I used to brag about how I can go to bed for three weeks and still make more money than half the city. More than half. Mm hmm And now you're accepting a million dollar gifts from your son, who has a successful business, who does better than our arena. 
Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, you know, even if I still made 600K a week, losing $8 million, there's no sustainability in that. But no. it no. did make me realize, holy shit, I'm getting 75K a week. I am a... I'm a business fucking... Mogul. Mogul. I own fucking... Yeah. A fuck Everything. ton of businesses. Yeah. And I'm getting 75k a week. <laughs> yeah. How does that add up though? Like, how many businesses do you own? A lot. All of them. <laughs> All of them. Most okay, of them, yeah. Right. Okay. And then, and then I go and I pull out twenty thousand dollars from the Cerberus account to buy materials to make some wingsuits, and I have my accountant call me and harass me for two hours, kidnap somebody, and says he has to sacrifice an innocent soul for my wrongdoings. Wait, what? Yeah. Like, do you know how much a Dodo Freight makes people? How much? One Dodo Freight takes 20 minutes and it makes them $40,000. Excuse me? What the fuck? How many freights can you run in a day? I think each manager gets like one or two and then they can take somebody with them. And then you get Dodo Express, which you're making like 10 grand. That's if they're like eating food from roosters or something, but it's like put a ring we're on. making seventy five k a week, and they're making forty k in twenty minutes. You make seven grand towing in twenty minutes. <sighs> wow, this is uh, this is rough. Today is a rough day, guys. Mm. I'm so sad. I can't even boost. Usually when I'd be sad, I'd go and boost, and then I'd get arrested and everything would be fine. And I can't even do crime. Well, I, I told you. Just I'm not going to blow people up. I'm not going to blow people up. <laughs> not yet. I'll get not sad yet. to the point that I will start car bombing people, but not today. So we just need to push you over the edge, is what you're saying. Michael, no. Okay. No, that's not that's not what I meant. Like, you you have to find somebody you can hang out with, and then, like I said, they can use that last spot to just rotate people in. I'm gonna go yep. into a Cerberus meeting on Tuesday and demand a salary of five hundred thousand dollars a week, or I'm reasserting all my investments again. I have some. This is ridiculous. I was I was making three point five three three point five million dollars a month. That sounds really nice. Now I got my son who makes ten times the amount. And he killed my business. But did it so much better than we ever could. I feel like he just got that hand to him, though, didn't he? Guys, I don't think you guys understand. At the end of every week, I had a paycheck of three hundred fifty to four hundred fifty thousand dollars. At the end of every week. That sounds really nice. Just like... from Rooster's Rest. Must be nice. I make no money every week. Okay, well you, you I what? You I bombed what? a lot. You bombed a lot of people, and then you trafficked class threes, and now you're on the run for a year. That's not my fault, Michael. I feel like it kind of is. Ha, but there, there's there's a million dollars. There's a million dollars in that fucking rooster's recipe. You know how much money I get from that? Let's do the math here. Uh, I think I got was it thirty five percent? I think it was 35%. That's 350,000. <laughs> Lang, can I tell you something? Yeah. In the, in the last five days, I have sold um, over a million dollars in wingsuits and helped generate $1.2 million on that event. And I'm still only going to be making 75K.
I really need to talk to Dean and Leslie. They have no concept of money. I'm starting to realize this right now. I think a lot of people don't have a concept of money in general. back on topic nancy i feel like it's kind of your fault i did are you really gonna tell me it's my fault right now michael <laughs> when i'm at my most own horrendous and sad i don't know might push you a little bit all right it's time to it's time to go back into nest holdings no more cerberus guys i'm departing hey, what? Now you've just made me lose my job, too? I'm cashing out all my investments, and I'm going into my own. I have The solo nothing. arc of business, where I can thrive with millions of dollars. Why did I say anything? I've lost it all. <laughs> now listen, I'm just kidding. Honestly, look, uh, I really think we have to rework salaries and really get a grasp on the idea of money that we make. I'm not going to lie, because I do agree with you. For you to generate $1.2 million in an event, now, mind you, from the wingsuit sales, remember, Nancy, we're only making about $7,000 profit. Oh, I know, but still. So a lot of that is going to be sunk back into materials. But regardless, uh, you're not wrong. And we do billboards and everything else. It's just everybody works really Wait, hard. How's the billboard company looking? I don't know. I don't think nobody's anything. nobody's buying billboards. Is the thing, but we're still putting in the work to get people to buy the billboards. Nobody actually we're still advertising. Them? And have we've sold like one? Jesus, they're too expensive. Why are we making them expensive if we're not going to get that money anyways? Because you told us to make. Yeah, but that that was before I realized we're not gonna get that money anyways, Nancy. So settle fucking a dollar a billboard. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> no matter how much money we try to make, we ain't getting that money, Nancy. We ain't getting that money. I've been telling you this, Lang. I've been saying. Yeah, but this is why me gambling all my money away was a good thing, Nancy, because now I'm starting to understand. So it's wait. What? Yeah. Before I think, hey, we sell a billboard for a hundred thousand, right? I'm like, oh shit, that's money for everybody's pockets. But the money don't go to our pockets. It really doesn't. No, no, it it goes into the Cerberus account. Yeah. Which I do agree. There should be. There should. It's not that that money should be drained, but I do think there needs to be salary increments by like five times, five x the amount. I'm not even capping. And we need to be pulling more money out of certain businesses, like Autos Auto, for example. 500k a week? Fuck that. Take a million a week from those motherfuckers. No cap. Okay. We literally sit on a casino that fucking shits money! Yeah. And you know, we do. I always wanted that too. I always wanted that too, Nancy. Why is it every single business I have, Leslie has, Oh, we got to put this certain amount of money in the account. Okay. Diamond Head Casino, Diamond Loans. Where the fuck is that money at? Why ain't that going they to the Cerberus so account? Why ain't that so going to the Cerberus account, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a business anymore. Must be nice. Yeah, it kind of is. So what do you sell a billboard for now? Like, I don't, I don't remember if we went over prices at all. 75000 for low traffic, 150000 for medium part, traffic, oh, and 20k for high traffic. Tell me the worst part, the worst part about all of this. The worst part about all of this is my part? gambling at the same time was a horrible decision because it's the perfect excuse for Dean not to take me seriously. This is going to be like, Glang, gamb you gambled away $8 million. And some it's of that your money fault. Could have been coming back into the Cerberus account, Lang. That's what he's gonna say, and I'm gonna have no argument to make him see what I'm trying to tell him. 
How could, what can we do? Bark. What do we do? How the fuck? How the living fuck? How the actual fuck did Dean buy a $20 million car? What? Yeah, it's Vulcan. He bought a $20 million car? Yes. He bought a $20 million car and we're making $75,000 a week? Well, didn't you give him Holy 8 million of those shit. 20? No, no, no. Okay, let me get. Okay, okay. I got. I need to clarify. I didn't have a million dollars. I had two million dollars before the roulette tables came out. Right. Then I played roulette and I lost it all, and I got. A, and then I manipulated Marlon to give me a million dollars and went on the luckiest streak of my life. So I never really had eight million dollars before roulette. I had about two million dollars. Okay. So you're actually better off than most because I think Benji, the fucking idiot has lost three mils so far. He didn't make oh, it. Oh, no. You think I'm better off? Like I had $1,000 on my account, Michael. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Now? Let me correct that. I had $70,000 on my account because I got my paycheck this week. Now you have a million because your son gave you a million dollars. Yeah. But like I said, for me, it's not about the money that I have in the account. I take pride in knowing I'm generating money. I don't know if most people can tell the difference. It's not about the money I have. It's about the money that I make that I take pride in. Well, yeah. And I make me no too. money. Three, nine, three. One second. Hey, what's up, Kenny? Mr. Can I have five thousand dollars? You think you call me at the worst time to ask me about my money? What do you think Zay, this is? But Mr. Lang, Zay told me to call oh, you and ask for five thousand dollars. I got no money. Oh, okay. Sorry, Mr. Lang. I love Lang. you. Love you too. Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is that? But yeah, it's not. It's not. A, it's not because. At the end of the day, you can say, oh, you have, I have $5 million. Oh, my God, that guy is rich. But you don't know it took that guy five years to save that, right? Mm. So it's not about the money you have. It's about the money you're generating. That, that is the important thing. Now, let's be real here. No amount of money I'll make is ever going to be able to sustain my gambling addiction. That is just the reality. Mm. But I still, I always took pride in, you know, like I said, you know, bragging to motherfuckers. We're like, listen, bitch, I can go to sleep for a month, come back, and still made, made more money than you. True. That's what I no, took I get pride that. in. Yeah, no, I get that. But yeah, now, in I reality, know. we're still generating that money. It's just sitting in an account while Dean buys a $22 million car. Wait, the price went up? I thought it was only $20 million. Oh, yeah, $20 Where million, did yeah. Two, Well, what is another $2 million? million in, you know? yeah. <laughs> oh, that's probably $25 million. <laughs> What? That's probably like thirty-five million if you account all the taxes, right? Well, why do you keep saying bigger numbers? Well, that's what I'm saying. Where did this twenty-two million dollars come from, and why is it not going into the fucking account? Well, because he bought a car. What's up, Marnie? I have risen from the bed. All right, listen. I'm handling a few things. Let me call in a little bit, okay? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have, I have a few also. questions. Actually, only one. They think okay. they meth do you know here. anyone? Do you know anyone that no. fucking buys materials that isn't stupid? I don't want my materials to go to waste. Yeah, I'll buy them. Let me call you back in a minute, though. I'll buy them all. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, actually, I won't buy them all. I'll only buy copper, uh, copper, aluminum, and steel. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Forty-two piece from Giannis. Fuck, swim by two. Sheesh. Um. Yeah, we're going to have to have a big meeting on Monday. And I think it's going to go very bad. Because the minute I start talking to Dean about how much money we don't make, he tunes out, gets mad at me, walks away. And then, he, like I said, he's got the perfect argument, Nancy. Well, I, he yeah, he's just going to tell me that I gamble too much. Car. Which, in reality, I can't counter that argument. No, you can't. Also, Michael, you know, keep all this between us, all right? Or I'm going to kill your ass. Of course. I Thank don't talking. Yeah, right, buddy. Sure, buddy. 98% of the city is filled with shit stars. Would not shock me if you're one of them. Who would I tell? What would I, I don't game? fucking what would know. I, from telling? I don't fucking know. Look, I make contacts. I don't, I don't want enemies. That's not my fucking thing. That's what I do, too.
Huh? I do the same thing. I make contacts. I don't make enemies. Yeah, there we go. Like, that is... It, it, your issues is obviously your issues. I'm not going to go spill that to someone else. It's not their, not their business. So. Today's terrible. And so we got to start cutting off the fat that's weighing us down. We got to sell the arena. Um, why? Oh, what the fuck are you going to do with it, Nancy? I, I thought we were diamond hands, Lang. Diamond hands. <laughs> we were going to make something of it. You again. were diamond hands for it. <laughs> Yeah, it was diamond hands, and now you got Nancy. This is your fault. You brought me down what? to your level right now. <laughs> what are you doing this? I've tried so hard. You ruined my positivity. So <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, no, but seriously, let's uh, let's reduce the price of the billboard. See if that helps. Let's cut it by half. Okay. Uh. And uh, we, I'm going to have to have a sit down with Dean and tell him, listen, you either start putting Diamond Hand Loan Casino money, or Diamond Hand Loans and Diamond Hand, Cas or Diamond Hand Loans and Diamond Casino money into the Cerberus account, or I'm going to start taking back all the money from my businesses and putting it into my own account. I can't get a $75,000 a week paycheck, and he goes in and buys a $22 million car. And everybody no. gets a raise. And everybody gets a raise. Also, the big thing about Dean and Leslie that I've noticed is they think that's a lot of money because they don't spend as much money as we do on shit. Maybe Dean more than Leslie, but Leslie, for example, he don't have to buy, you know, his fucking guns to hold shit down, his fucking drugs, invest into the, you know, the shit, the boosting, the bank robbing, you know, shit like that. You know what I mean? Things are the expensive. fines going to jail, you know? Yeah, it's pricey. It's expensive. And I can't it's even expensive. boost. <laughs> it's expensive to boost as well. Just fill it up your car with gas. Boom, a thousand dollars. You want a nice meal at Roosters? Boom, a thousand dollars. You want to buy a laptop? Boom, ten thousand dollars. That's like thirty percent of the money gone right there. And I try to do nice things for my friends, and so I spend a bunch of money on them too. I spent three hundred thousand dollars on my friends last week just to make them happy. I can't even afford to make my friends happy anymore. Listen, even, okay, so let's say I didn't gamble away my money and I still had $2 million, right? Theoretically, uh, it'll hit a point. So my asset fees, I pay 113,000 for my cars. I think about yeah. anywhere between like 20, 30,000 for my houses, right? So in reality, I'm already operating in a negative and eventually my $2 million will run out and the 75K a week cannot even sustain my asset fees. Yeah. Um, it's actual like negative income. Yeah. And that's the point here. Crazy. Yeah. I don't <laughs> even lead like a super luxurious life. Like I have a very nice house that Dean paid for and I have some very nice cars but like I keep it pretty tight and I still have like over a hundred thousand dollars in asset fees and going broke was the best shit ever I'm not gonna lie I love that I'm realizing all this because in reality too that doesn't make us look good as heads of a company when we have a bunch of people that we cherish that work under us and we pay them dog shit well now you know where to start to get things sorted. Well, I hope I can, but it's going to be hard when I'm, uh, you know, it's two to one. Very true. You need to convince him. I don't know. I, I'd say if, if he's going out buying a $22 million car and you guys are struggling, that seems a bit odd. I'm not struggling, but I'm just at a point where like, well, it's not that we're again, struggling. It's, it's, it's not about the money, but I, there's no forward progress with like, okay, earning, let me, let me, anytime no, no, I make money, it, it all gets charged. Let me explain like this. Okay. Hmm. How do I explain this? Let me think about it. And, and I know Nancy's going to feel the same exact way. Of course. 
how do I explain this? We, <coughs> we as a company that owns a lot of businesses and generates a lot of wealth, we should be able to be literal, like make a hundred million dollars and not worry about it. In a sense of, if I have a hundred million dollars in my account, I shouldn't have to throw that at shit because I have too much money. It should be a choice. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And I feel as in Cerberus, when we hit a certain amount of money, we just start throwing it at everything because we feel like we have to, not because we choose to a lot of the times. I don't know if that, I don't know if I can explain it correctly. That, no, you make, you're making complete sense to me. I would like to be able to have the amount of money in my account that I could go and start investing in small businesses myself in the city. Stuff that wouldn't make sense for Cerberus to invest in, but for me, it would make sense to invest in. Like, yeah, there's that's been what people I'm saying, approaching right? me and saying, like, I would love you to invest in this. Are you able to do that? And I'd love to be like, yeah, here's $400,000 so you can make your dreams come true like Cerberus has helped make my dreams come true. But it's not even that. You should. I should be able to gamble away... You know, $2 million essentially is what I gamble. You can count the $8 million, but that's just from the swings of gambling. And be like, okay, well, in about three weeks, I'll make probably another $5, $10 million because I fucking have so many businesses that generate income. But then we take that income and we throw it into the void, a black hole, and it sucks it all away. I should be able to be rich is what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. But I feel like the powers that be don't want me to be rich. And I'm not talking rich a million dollars. I'm talking I want $50 million in my account. And then I gamble it all away and feel fucking good about it. Do it. It's not even that I want the money in the account. I want to be able to generate this money. I'm literally operating at a net at, at a net negative. Like I said, like my paycheck doesn't cover my asset fees, so I can have fifty million dollars in the account, but it'll hit a point where that fifty million dollars is gone, and I'm operating at a negative with just my loans or fees or whatever. Okay, so just so I, I'm making sure I understand, you guys actually do do still generate a lot of money that is just sitting in the business or, or being used for other stuff. Uh, to be fair, like right. I said, some there some of that money, the practice makes sense, right? There mm -hmm. should be mm -hmm. money funneling into that account that then we then use to invest in other businesses, allocate funds to businesses that are hurting and need help, things like that, of that nature, which we should be doing as a company, a thousand percent. I'm not yeah, arguing that, of course. But I think we are the numbers just. Uh, <clears throat> it's way too high for one end and wait. I mean, we, we've had like what? $4 million just sitting there and we've been, and we've been moving money from there into other things. You know what I mean? So I, I, mm. I don't think it needs to be that much money in there. All right. Well, just need to, get those money moved around figure out what what you guys can work with like i still have money sitting in my company the old billboard that we never actually got to use which could have been paid out to everyone everyone can have a i guess a bonus or just a higher salary in general i think uh... there's also you can also put too much money to the side like there's only so much you can do with money and like investing or helping people out Oh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, the reality is, too, you know, before I re. So, like, even I'm pretty sure my head managers at Rooster's Rest make more money than me. What? Or just a, a, because the way because the way I have it set up, right? So I get 30. I forgot the way I set it up. I have to look into my notes, but we I pretty much break up all the profits and the percentages that go into uh, the pockets of my head managers and the owner from the profits we made that week in food sales. I'm talking gross. I'm not even talking like I'm talking, you know, before we even reimburse and calculate food costs and shit. Right. And then yeah. I still even had enough where I was making like $350,000. You know what I mean? So it's not that I was even Jesus. getting overpaid is everybody was getting paid. 
And I was still making good money. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like as a, you know, like I said, as you know, and I never felt guilty about making 350K a week from my restaurant because that's my restaurant. I deserve that. I built that. Do I run day to day operations anymore? No. Am I the heart and soul of that restaurant anymore? No. But without me, that restaurant would have never existed. Yeah. That makes sense. But enough sulking. Now I go gamble. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Stay strong, Nancy. Diamond hands. I'm going to fix it all by Monday. I'm going to fix it all by Monday. Okay, Lay. <laughs> I mean, it is good RP though, chat, to like realize, like I, I always love shakeups for laying. Like the reality is, is even if we, the gambling is a good excuse in terms of like not accepting the reality. But the reality is we all get paid way too little in Cerberus. But it's for the city and the small companies? No, of course. Like, that still should be our motto, but you can still have that be true and still make money. Right? Let's go to the bank. Like, our accountant gets $25,000 a week, dude. That is an insane... <laughs> An artist we paid for an event gets paid just as much as our accountant. In two weeks, Sabbath has made $176,000. Two weeks, Tommy has made $176,000. I don't even know who the fuck this guy is, but he gets paid twice what our account in Cerberus gets paid. Oh, I want to I want to see the diamond hand loans and diamond at casino bank accounts so fucking badly.
I love this shit though, chat. Like, don't. I hate that I always have to say this, but like, don't be toxic, bitch, and moan. Like, I, I love being in hard situations with a character, like trying to figure shit out, like trying to actually be like, listen, we like always trying to improve and like be like, listen, we can manage this money better, and everybody can make more money and still hit the goal of what Cerberus is. You change your statement about money not mattering anymore? Um, I change it a little bit. There's obviously value to money on the server, but, but like it's, it's like I tried explaining it already, right? It's not, it's not about the money you're sitting on. Like the money I'm sitting on, I don't care about. That's why I'll gamble the, all the money away. Or me and Dean will be bored one day and just throw $100,000 at people, right? But I, I do take pride in being like, holy shit, like my, you know, Lang gets paid a fuck ton. Which, which is what I, which is what we don't get. It's paid a fuck ton. I don't know if that makes sense though, the way I explain it. I think it does. I mean, RP money is literally for cars. Well, that's why I don't care about the, the money because there's not really much you can do with it. I mean, there is a lot. Uh, we especially, we definitely realized, noticed that too when Lang went broke. But I do like being like, holy shit, Lang made like five mil this week. Now let's go gamble to the casino because we don't give a fuck about the five mil, but we give a fuck about the fact that we made that in a week. Does that make sense? Are you ever going to stop the Gamba arc? Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, do I enjoy gambling? Yeah, it's fun. But I just love watching chat freak out. Look at chat right now. <laughs> Everyone's spamming suffer. People are just spamming 2121. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I, I think it's just funny, bro. It farms me content. All right, chat. Listen, guys, we'll do guys. Listen, this is, this is it. Okay. This is, this is the final. We're going to be smart, okay? We're going to be smart. Okay, look, this is it. We're just going to we're going to get the one hit. We're going to pay the loan back. We're leaving and we're done, okay? There, we're going to be smart, guys. There you go. Smart equals 250k table. <laughs> All bets are closed. It's time to play. <laughs> Better than 500. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bro, it always skips 21 though. Like for real, it's cringe. Would you like to go again? All right, guys, here's what we do. No, 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 this is what we do. This is what we do. This is what we do. This is literally what we do. We go here. Okay. We go here. Like this. And then 27. Like that. And then we go back to our old school. Our old school, uh, our old school, uh, What's the word? What is the word I'm looking for? Our old school uh, betting method. Or yeah, our old school strategy. Did you actually win anything in the last two weeks? Lang hasn't won shit in literally two weeks. Our betting strat worked. Another round. Hey, finally. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's been so long since we hit a number. It, it put my oh it didn't put my bet on 21 you're right all right here we go chat That 12 or is that's 12 right oh my god i thought it finally hit 21 Another. we should have just stuck to the old strat honestly Look at what you started. All right, guys, we're back down bad again. Will we hit? Feel 27. Oh, I should have done 27. you're putting on the table IRL guys I I take out all my gambling addiction in game dude or watching train stream I mean just at oh 18 that's big 
Cap, dude, ask anybody who went on the Vegas trip, bro. These motherfuckers, I ain't gonna expose what these motherfuckers were gambling and losing. I'm out here playing with two, three hundred dollars, man. But me and Abby were up like 1K, we're like, yeah, we're done, we're leaving. And we, we came home and bought the, uh, the exercise bike, which has been a great investment, by the way. I love that bike. Kind of hurts my ass a little bit after a while, but I love it. Why don't we just stick to the strat when we actually can hit shit? So dumb, dude. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, Australia. Kitty? I was gonna Wait, was do that? Rooster's delivery and see who was gambling. <laughs> oh, Rooster's down bad. I know. I was gonna see who was hungry and deliver food. You can't compete, Mister Leg. Rooster's down bad. Better Leg well, we down don't, bad. Uh, and everything's over. We don't over. have rings, you know. We need we need to start stop selling food and start selling rings, Kitty. Ooh, like a jewelry store. Oh, you didn't hear about the rings that keeps everybody nourished all fucking day in the city? Yeah, I know. I've heard about that. Have you heard about the ring where you don't need bandages? Okay. You can have one HP and then you'll be full, he fully healthy in 90 seconds, including armor. What? what yeah, the citron rings. <laughs> For only $750. Yeah. Citrine rings. Holy shit. Yeah, my large bandages can't compete huh? with that. Wait, I just realized you're the only one on the table, Lang, and there's a, a Belgillion chips. What's going on? Oh, this, I'm down bad, my friend. <laughs> How much have you bet right now? Is this like 200k? Yeah, I'm down like six million dollars. Ah. Wait, there. What else are are there rings for, Kitty? What the there's fuck? There's the the ring that lets you swim under water longer. The Aquamarine. citron ring is the most strongest one that I've heard of, and then the hunger ring, the jade ring. Oh, citrine is great. Yeah. You don't need joints. I was trying to see, sell armor. bandages to my usual people, and they're like, oh, I don't need it anymore. I have got my citrine ring. And I was like, wow. And they last six hours, or um, they go they, they, they go away if you head pop. Holy shit. Yep. Run me up good. I love how it hit 21, and the magnet moved it the fuck away from it. This shit is so fucking rigged. Did you lose all that money you just spent <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's okay though. We're gonna make a comeback here. Don't worry about it. On top of that, time... Burger Shot sells a combo for two hundred dollars. So five combos is one k, which is the equivalent of our large combo with tax. Yep, that's where people go. And to eat. They the food, the food does the same. The food does the same shit too, right? That's the issue. Yeah, yeah. That, they do the, they do the same stuff. It used to be where ours lasted longer, but it no, that's no longer a thing. Really. Yep. Yeah, I can eat a money wow. shot. Wow. It'll taste the same as a ramen. That is... I prefer not to say nothing. I say something, I'm big trouble. I'm big trouble. I speak, I'm in trouble. I speak, I'm big trouble. <laughs> I speak, I'm big trouble. Don't say nothing. The one time I came to play roulette was what opening day. Hey, and I actually Mr. left 200k Ryan? in the green. What if you email Bo? Remember, he was working on that Gamba thing for Roosters. Oh, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Because gambling, you know, makes too uh, much money and I can't be rich. I, huh? Yeah. But Mr. Dean's rich. Yeah, well. All right, was there anybody else gambling? Do All right, guys, this is it. This is it. The last, uh, the last uh, hoorah right here. You guys want to see if I lose all this money? How much did you spend? Uh, Jaeger gave, gave me a million dollars, so I'm just gambling all away. Oh. Can I have five thousand dollars? No. If he wins. Okay. Only if I win. Yeah, if I win, of course. Yeah. Okay, sweet. 
off, but I'm only awake because you're not awake. And I went, well, I'm not supposed to be awake. I said I was going to go to sleep. I was like, don't tell Bruno. And I just drove off. <laughs> Here it is, guys. The last. The last hoorah. The last hoorah, guys. What do you need? Do you need a 21? Or a 21 is big. I mean, anything anything you see here, honestly, is big at this point. I mean, I need anything, but... I thought, fuck, man. Someone's going to be upset. Fuck, you know. Hey, sir, would you like a delivery from Roosters? I'm good, thank you. Fine. Four. I want that. Great. Vets are now closed. See, and now he's never going to come to Roosters because you insulted him, Kitty. Good job. Hey, nobody say the number because you might see it before me. Okay. This shit is so fucking rigged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Uh, let's go rob a bank. Come on. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Let's go rob a bank and make ten thousand dollars, guys. Come on. Huh? Nothing. 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 <laughs> Bigger's gonna fall. Yeah, he is. <laughs> all right, I gotta go handle some business. Kitty, it's good to see you. All right, hope you, everything is okay. You too, Mr. Lane. He mauled in Discord. <laughs> oh, yeah, we gotta go to the arcade and see Bane. I forgot. I grab some food real quick, too. Food, get a ring. <laughs> I feel like the ring. I feel like the ring shot have been on the server for a long time though. So I'm wondering why all of a sudden are, are, is it extremely popular? Is it because gems are easier to find, or did the rings get buffed or something? Thank you. Yeah, I wanna. Burn my throat okay. as it goes down. Hey so guys. I can feel something. Dude, I, I honestly hate that we're open 24 7. I'm not going to lie. Thanks for driving me. At least I got my $5,000. Why? I just like the vibe of it. I'm obviously not going to tell them just to close it because if they enjoy it, they enjoy it. But I just like the vibe of being a night restaurant. I, th I, th I thought it was always such a cool vibe. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's go to Roosters. You know what I mean? Sorry, Eve. Sorry. Wait, are the lifers not here? They are. That's why we have it locked. Anger problems. Hey, unlock this shit! All right, chill, chill. We got lifers here. That's why. Fucking shithole arcade. Oh, 
of course. This is hey, unreal. what's going on, guys? What's up? Fuck, out of jail, huh? This is crazy. For Where's a minute. Bayonet? He's in a. He's playing. He's in a game. Oh, is he in a game right now? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it just start? Uh, no, they should no. actually should be finishing up in a minute. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, they've been in for a while. The pack versus DLC. Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Out of an actual cage, only to be put in a virtual one, huh? Huh, yeah, Lando? but at least I get to escape reality in this one. Yeah, that's true. Right, sorry, guys, I'm here. Reality is Hello. that I can't, I can never work another day in a restaurant. I lose my mind. Those people are really stuck in a cage because they can't escape. Oh, yeah, yeah, really, now. really, really, yeah. So why don't they just go and give, uh, you know, I'm just not going to say. What? Must be easy for you, Lando. You get whatever the fuck you want, whatever the fuck you want, buddy. I don't get anything. Right, right. You know how much money I have? Lando, it's not my fault Jaeger chooses not to pay any of you. Yeah, and it's not my fault. But this is the life we live. Yeah. 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 Bitch. Fuck you, Lando. You, you were you were gonna be my right hand man, then you just turn into a pussy. Oh, here it is again. Again, the right hand man story. What? You don't like the story anymore? What's teams? Hold on, let me let, 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 let me look. Huh? It's so overused, and you're not gonna make me feel bad about my decisions. Wow, you really have changed. That's all you got to come at me with so now. One is Jessica, I got Maggie, so much for what to come at you with, man. I just choose not to. All right, Nate. Uh, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. What do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? Is he going to involve Tom Brady? No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. He's already, you know, gone. He retired. Well, I got to talk about him. He's old news. He, LeBron's I'll still in the game. I'll swap over. Uh, when's the last time we talked about Tom Brady? Probably since he retired. He unretired and he's going to own. All right. I'm yeah, like I'm retired and play for a shit team and go home again. You know, if he went home, I bet they wouldn't be a shit team again. Didn't even make the playoffs last year. What? Patriots didn't even make the playoffs without Tom Brady. No, I'm talking about his new home. Tampa Bay? I don't fucking know what they're called. All right. Everyone put up their stuff that they grabbed yeah, while we were waiting. Yep. Hey, how long the life is going to be here for? Uh, oh, wait, I, I don't know, <laughs> but we got to close that down in like an hour too. from now for uh, the okay, thing. Okay. Am I going to call from jail? Now we're starting. Hello? So we want to start with like, hello. Everyone do that. Mr. Lang. Who is this? Hey. Uh, my name is Roman. Mickey might have mentioned oh, you, might have mentioned me. me. Maybe Ray did, maybe not. All right, how can I help you, sir? What's going on? Oh, well. I'm the one who built up the entire ketamine operation and then moved it to Mickey to sell and Ray to enforce and distribute. I'm taking some next steps. Oh, still and for that, I need, uh, well, my next step is before I do it, I need advice from you on how I couldn't, this, this thing I couldn't figure out and I feel like you would know. How do I get the two of them to get along? Uh, I'm sorry, who is this? Roman. Roman what? Roman Shacks. Roman Shacks. And you do what exactly? I'm the one who breaks into prison, makes the trade with the lifers, gets all the ketamine, and then moves it back out of the prison. Oh, okay. And how you want to know how you can get Ray and Mickey to get along? Yeah, so right now I can't. Why like, not working with either the of them? Uh, no, I am. Oh, but I said, yeah, you can get you make them get along by not working with either of them. Oh, asking for Ray and Mickey to get along is like asking, uh, you know, me to stop gambling. Are you gambling right now? No, I'm actually uh, at the arcade right now. God damn it. You know, I was I was. Yeah, I've been racking my brain for a long time. I've, I've done some pretty, pretty genius shit. I could I couldn't I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't I could I I. 
Well, what, what's going on? I, what, do you I, need, what do you need help with? What is the issue? Uh, well, okay. So I always planned on taking a different role than I currently have, like, you know, training someone else to do the smuggling and the contacting with the lifers so that I can move to a different part of the operation. And that's now happening. So Ray's been there from the start. He knows some of them. He knows the route that I take. And he's the one that I trust to do that. So then he would end up with the bulk of the ketamine after it's been produced. And then my issue has always been, I have all of it. Now Mickey wants a certain amount and Ray wants a certain amount. And they both want a certain cut. And Mickey's like, give me 60 bags. And I'm like, I can't give you 60 bags because I give, I got to give Big Toe 12. I got to give Ray this number. And he's like, Roman, give me 60 bags. And I said, this isn't a discussion. Uh, this is a discussion. It's not you just demanding bags from me. Uh, but now if Ray has all the bags because he's got to be doing the smuggling, Mickey and Ray are going to inevitably argue about who gets how many. So it sounds to me like you're running an operation uh, for two different people and making it seem like you're running it for one entity, but that's not the reality. Yeah, I'm kind of, well, actually, that's actually, no, that's, that's actually pretty accurate. Um, and it's, and it's, uh, it's, it's a strategy I'm doing next for something totally different, but um, yeah, I need, like Mickey wants to sell and he wants to sell the massive bulk. He wants to sell at a certain price. And Ray has just wanted to use like the best strains for himself, but now he also wants to sell some of it as well, like in a much smaller quantity, because he also needs to see like monetary profit. Um, and what do you want to do? Uh, I mean, for me, the whole ketamine operation, like my takeaway, like, for me, what it really represented was just me telling people, like showing people what I could do uh, as my first like entry into the into the crime mainstream so I, I got that i got that out of it and i'm willing to just let the two of them have the have the major profits i've now got a second smuggling operation that i think is a lot more fun for me it's, it's actually really funny um uh i got caught by wrangler with a bunch of weed he wrangled me a few days ago and i also oh, had one bag fuck. of ketamine on me no no you're gonna love where this goes and so i had the one bag of ketamine and then I was in an interrogation room with Wrangler and Nova and Fingal for an hour and a half. Now I'm on a 48 hour hold because I convinced them that I could get into the, like if they sent me into prison, I could investigate who it is that's smuggling it out. Holy shit. Are Mickey and Ray aware of this? I haven't been able to call Mickey, but I talked to Ray about it like last night. But yeah, I, I want, I want my own verb, you know, like Wrangler wrangles people and I like, shackle them so wranglers now i'm gonna i'm gonna I mean, uh, my plan is to in long term end up in witness protection at wrangler's house and then use that as my personal ketamine stash and park a car in there just to flex jesus I, I like the ambition sir you don't think that's too dangerous though that's what they said about getting ketamine out the prison i can move hundreds of bags a week all right i i admire the confidence listen i'm gonna be straight with you uh Mickey and Ray, very, very good friends of mine. Not, they're not even my friends. They're my brothers. I love them to death. I'd kill, kill for both mm -hmm. of them, but they are very inexperienced. I don't know how to, you know. Uh, Mickey's a, an incredible salesman. He can sell horse shit to a horse. Running operations, they're not very capable. Ray uh, gets distracted by 17 women around him and probably is not aware what the fuck he's doing in the moment anymore. Okay. Trying to um, get them two to work together is like trying to, uh, you know, it's what is the saying? Uh, unstoppable force meets an immovable object exactly so i felt yeah. like it was kind of stressful managing it but i feel like you know having them on the same team is amazing like i think with ray's field experience with the cat and and mickey's salesmanship they could probably move the price up to like six to eight thousand because ray could tell people what exactly it does but they don't make sales together they want to do it independently and then the price is now at like three to five thousand uh so my other idea was like you know uh, mickey once suggested that tony tony run the whole ship and this is, and then he told me to contact Tony about it. So I contacted Tony about it, but Mickey had not told Tony, Tony anything about me. So Tony just told me to fuck off and that he would tie me to tip train tracks if I called him again. But do you think why Tony could would Mickey the tell you to speak to Tony? I'm curious. And he said it would like Tony would be able to run it like a like a tight ship or something. Because <laughs> so I, I, I thought it took yeah to Tony, yeah him. yeah listen. I love my boys. I absolutely admire them. But uh, Tony is very capable of running it. But if he does not admire it and have passion for it, he will not do it. 
okay. So I gotta, I gotta sell it to Tony. He was like, hey, this is a really cool thing. Are you interested? And if he says no, he says no. That's fine. Um, yes, but the thing is, Tony's not very long-term invested into things, unless it's just cars. He has an, a terrible addiction to racing and, and vehicles. So do I. We can bond over that. Except he races cars and I races bikes, and you think he's you know, he's Yaokai now, and they only they think bikes are cringe. But then Mary has a Street Fighter, which is the same bike I have, and the same bike you have. Okay, listen, let's rewind here. So, what is your plan right now? You yeah. you still want to work with Mickey and Ray? Or are you looking to establish a new operation? Uh, I pretty much want them to have the main ketamine operation, right? So the moving hundreds of bags, they can have that. That's fine. They can run it um as as it is because I, I i think what i'll leave them with is something that's really secure infrastructure and then i learned a bit more about how to make it even more secure uh in the past few days like i'm gonna have them communicate like via the the group chat in a in a racing dongle if uh if they want to so i'm gonna move a racing dongle into the into the prison give it to a lifer the lifer can then make a make a race a certain track and then I can join that, and then I can have text between myself and the lifer in a group chat. Like, Ray and Mickey can also all communicate in the same way. We don't have to meet up in person, and then we can just end the race. Well, why hand it off? This, is what, this is what confuses me. Why are you choosing to hand off this operation all of a sudden? Uh, for me, it was always just, like, you know, something I wanted to do as a side project, and it's fun. But right now, if I'm taking the risk of moving my own ketamine into, 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 uh, into Wrangler's house, like, well, specifically his garage because I think it's funny. It's not a logically optimal decision, but it's fucking funny. And I don't want to risk everything on it. I would just rather risk my own personal supply. And that's much easier. So basically, Ray Yeah, but you sound like a Mickey, smart guy. You know what the fuck you're doing. Why waste your talent on something? I, don't get me wrong. I think it's funny, but why? I have two other two other drug empires I'm going to build after. All right, and tell me about it. What is that? I think... Uh, well, so ketamine is currently known as the strongest drug on the streets correct i don't know if you've you, yeah if you've used it yourself but mickey's probably definitely told you about it uh and you know that was what i thought two months ago but metamorphine is definitely the best war drug and it's not even close because when you take metamorphine you're fucked up for like three hours because nobody buys it you know you can't drive you can't walk and that's three hours minimum you could be fucked up the entire tsunami where you can't drive you can't walk you can't shoot so if you take someone at gunpoint and you make them take metamorphine, you fuck them up for the entire tsunami. They, they're they're done. You don't have to. You don't, you know you don't just send them to pillbox and then come back out. You make them take the drug, and they're just done for that entire twelve hour period. Damn, it's you like are 1, a smart man. Yeah, How do you acquire yeah, this? So metamorphine. It's easy. Just ask anybody. You know, go down the street team, be like, hey, can I get my morphine? They're like, yeah, here's a thousand dollars for this needle. And what I want to do, and this is where this is where it gets a bit, you know, I haven't really operated on this level before, but I didn't, you know, ketamine was like my first thing. My metamorphine is going to be my second. I want to find somebody. And there are two people I've got in mind. One's called the chemist and he's the one who made metamorphine. And one is Michael Simone, who seems like he's really on board with what I've got which is like a, a metamorphine tranquilizer gun, right? The concept being fires one needle of metamorphine, probably a short distance because there's a trank gun. It's got one shot in it because, you know, this kind of thing has to be limited. You know, I, I moved yeah, ketamine of out of the prison and that thing is way too, and it's way too fucking strong. Ketamine is way too good at what it does and it's untested. So it's got side effects that it should not have. First time I tried ketamine, my friend shot me down and I got back up. I'm sorry? My friend shot me down, you know, right in the vest with a gun while I was on my first bag of ket, and I hit the floor face down, and then I got back up. That's definitely not intentional. That should not be a thing. I bumped into Mr. K yesterday, maybe two days ago, said he loved the shit, and that he had done it hours ago, and he was still feeling, like, the, the effects of, like, shrugging off everything that comes at him. So, you know, between myself and the life I work with in here, it's way too good. We don't want do you to work be out there in there? quantities that we could. Uh, I'm working with Eddie. Actually, they, they recommended and initially you, the ones you smuggled guns to. I am shocked that a man, listen, I don't know you, but you seem like a very smart man. How did you get in bed with Mickey and Ray? Who else was I going to get in bed with? I mean, 
if I'm gonna, if you, if you want to know exactly, I would pitch. I, I, Ray and I, Ray, Ray is one of the few people who actually listened to an idea I had way back in like June or something when I was still getting downloaded by everybody. And Did I you ever call me a fucking asshole? Yeah, here's why I didn't call you, man, because you scare the fuck out of me. Well, it was for a very good reason. It's yeah, so, you know, you know I don't end up in the situation you're in right now, call. my friend. Wait, say that again. It's so I don't end up in a situation the one you're in right now. You got Rang on your ass, you're in a 48 hour hole, you're working with two incompetent morons who can't work with each other. It's not like a shit falling apart from my perspective, honestly. Wait, no, did you miss the part? No, I chose to be in here for 48 hours. He was going to let me walk, and I said, no, just send me up to prison. Wait, did I miss that part? What? Wait, what? Yeah, no, Wrangler thinks that I'm just some nobody. I convinced him that I'm just some nobody and that I'm going to help him investigate the ketamine operation, despite the fact that I'm the one who built the operation in the first place, so I can just pick a fall guy and he will pay me the $200,000. I will just frame someone I don't like for my own work. So how do I know you won't fucking frame days. my boys, though? Why would I do that? I don't fucking know. You put a rat in a corner, it's, uh, it'll do some really fucking fucked up shit to get out. You know what I mean? Not to call you a rat, but. Yeah, I'm not a rat. I'm more like, you know, like a bull elephant. You know, like a bull elephant's like a nice, smart, gentle creature, but it's also the largest animal on land and will fuck up a polar bear, right? Even though the polar bear is the most scary apex predator. I like to talk to people. I like to socialize. I don't like to fuck anyone over. I just want to do my own thing. But if I do get fucked with, I'm a goddamn bull elephant. Okay, so let me give you let me give you some hard truth, my friend. Uh, if you are looking to pass over this operation, you're not going to be able to do it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. It, it's honestly better you have a, a sit down with the three of them, or well, the two of them, including you, you, Mickey, and Ray. But uh, if you want my opinion, I see neither of them wanting to work together, and you're going to have to pick one person to give the operation to, and both of them are going to be trying to convince you as to why they should be the ones, while convincing you why the others shouldn't be the one. That is, yeah, that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going through right now. Like, they're always like, I love Ray, but he's this way. And then Ray is like, I love Mickey, but he's this way. Yeah, a lot of people just can't, uh, you know, uh, people, the way they operate is if they have a negative opinion of somebody, they are scared to say because they think the person will not like them. When in reality, somebody can have flaws and you can still embrace who that person is, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You, loving someone is not being like, oh, you're perfect. It's like, I know you're not, and, and I accept you for who you are. Like, I literally had to fire Mickey from one of my businesses because we just not work together. It's just a reality, but he's still, you know, you know, I cherish him very much. Is that in my heart he's not selling? And I'll kill for him. Yeah, you know he told what me mean? the other day, he, yeah, he wasn't selling wine anymore. He's, like, selling cat full-time now. You had to fire uh, him? Uh, yes. Oh. Well, I guess this is me as his... This is kind of like his new boss calling his old boss for a referral. Uh, I mean, I think I think they're both yeah. capable. Listen, I think they're both capable, but capable together, I think, is impossible. If you want my real real opinion, I think you're going to have to pick one personally. But I could be wrong about that. No, that's actually no, that's perfect perspective, because this whole time I've been trying to solve an impossible problem. Right. And you can just be that it's impossible. And actually, so at mid sentence, my solution then would be like I could give all of it to I could give the entire operation to to Mickey, who loves selling ketamine, and then I could suggest to Ray that he joins me on the next one, which is going to be the weaponized morphine. That could work. That could work. Okay. No, I think that's the I think that's the direction I want to take. Plus, like Ray has the well, I guess as much of a connection as anyone can have with Michael Simone. So that's already that's already kind of just the way to. It's the, it's the path of Ray. Resistance. Ray has a connection with Michael Simone. Ray, the guy who's been saying to everybody in the city he wants to kill Michael Simone, has a connection with him now? I just checked the docket. Isn't he like... That's what he told me. Ray has zero like connection to Michael you. Simone. What did he go to prison for? Okay, okay. No, I'm going to take you at your word for it. Yeah, you're right. Maybe he, has, he has zero connection. I was wrong. Now, I okay, may know well, some people who do have connections to Michael Simone, but with all due respect, uh, Roman, I don't no, know no, you. No, I understand. Exactly, exactly. I, and, uh, you know, so I don't think it's the case, but it's very... Uh, you just told me you got wrangled, so I don't really know if this is, uh, you know, you're trying to fuck me my ass here. No, no. Um... The, before I started moving any cat out of the prison, I knew that as soon as somebody got caught with one bag, uh, I would have to address the bottleneck. They will immediately assume 
that it's coming out of prison and I wanted to get in front of that investigation. And I told Mickey and Ray this and they're like, nah, fuck it. Like they didn't tell me when someone got arrested. So when I got arrested with my one bag, I just went forward with, you know, the plan I already had, which is, you know, it's actually kind of intricate, which is, hey, I'm leading the investigation because I put myself in a position to be Wrangler's CI on my own op. And B, I've already constructed a lot of a narrative on the outside in the past few weeks. And the, what I'm going for and what the lifers are backing me up on is the notion that the ingredients to make ketamine were moved out of the prison against the lifer's will some time ago, and someone can now make it on the outside, which is why despite the fact that ketamine uh, has been around for a long time, it's now only recently been producible in mass quantities on the outside. The numbers Wait, kind do you, of- Wait, do you actually believe this is being produced on the outside though? No, it's not. Okay. We're just spreading that narrative and taking oh, a lot you're... of steps to make sure that it's believable. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. And the numbers kind of back it up because, you know, it's really hard to make ketamine in here. Uh, it takes a really long time to make a small batch. But me and me and Eddie optimized the process and really motivated the lifers to do it to the point where we can make and move out like 120 bags or so per week, which is which is a lot of ketamine, considering there was zero to nine bags any given day, any given week beforehand. So what I'm going to say is there's not a lot of lifers around for this reason, this reason. There's no feasible way they could have been producing this much Wrangler. It's got to be main, being made on the outside based on what I've seen. And so he's going to start investigating the outside Operation Ketamine, which is sort of like a, not a, not a, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a puppet operation I'm building up. It's like a, you know, like when in, in like, I forget which war it was, but this side just made a bunch of cardboard tanks to convince the enemy side that they had this whole ass camp. It's full of tanks, but they're actually made from cardboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the dudes who are like just over the hill and they have a bunch of uh, sticks with flags, making it seem like they have a massive army. But in reality, it's like 10 guys trying to scare up whatever the fucking bottom of the hill. I get it. Exactly. So what I was doing um, uh, like a week or two ago was I was making calls from the numbers to people I knew needed ketamine because they were at war. I talked to them like this. I said, listen, my name is the bishop. And if you are receiving this call, it's because I've heard your prayers. I'm offering you an extremely price, small price, even free, bags of ketamine. It'll help you turn the dice in this war you were losing. And then I would send them what I'd call the ghost runner or a ghost runner. And then I dressed up in all white and I drove my silent electric car and delivered the ketamine myself to like the Aztecas who were losing the BSK. So the Aztecas think that the bishop called them and sent the ghost runner, except it was me and then I drove myself. And so what I'm now gonna do is hire a bunch of people to just deliver ketamine and they're gonna be the ghost runners. And then I'm gonna tell Wrangler that the ghost runners stole the ketamine a while ago and then started moving it. And the lifers are now chasing Sir, the why ghost the runners. Sir, why the fuck didn't you call me three, four months ago? Or whenever the fuck um, you started this shit, I would have loved to work with somebody like you. Hey man, I got like two other drug empires to start and a whole ass business that, you know, I'm gonna work on. I'm not really a crime guy anyway, man. This is just me like, I think I'm going to finally do crime now. What, uh, what business are you working on? Uh, okay. So I've got, I've got two going already, but if you really want to make a ton of money in this city, you, you, you do loans, you make a ton of money doing loans, right? But you already, you work with, um, you work with, uh, Dean Watson. He's got diamond hand loans and diamond hand did what I call the diamond hand scuffle shuffle where you got one, if someone wants to buy a vehicle for PDM. Uh, PDM makes profit on the vehicle, but they also force the person to take a loan out from Diamond Hand if they want to afford it. And then for socioeconomic reasons, people take out loans in the city by the dozens. Uh, PDM Correct. makes them take it out from Diamond Hand, and then what happens is the Diamond Hand loan rates were massive. It was like 32%, and a competing loan at Fast Loans was 17%. So I asked myself, how do they have such worse rates but still get so much business? And I asked someone at Fast Loans this, and then they told me, like, they force you to take it. And they monopolize it and what happens is you can't afford that loan so you default on it and then they repossess the car or they make you sell it to autos or something they suggest that very heavily you sell it to autos so you're in debt and you sell your car at a loss to autos which is owned by i forget but it's not actually owned by autos like if you get a repair there the money goes to dean watson who also gets the money from diamond in the first place now if you want to buy if customer number two announces wants to buy that car from autos uh, and he's got like $80,000 for a $100,000 car. He can't take out a loan for $20,000. Auto says you have to take out the entire $100,000 loan from Diamond Hand and you have to pay us that and then you can have this car. And people do that because again, socioeconomic reasons, they're desperate. 
So they have to take out this loan they don't need at a much higher interest rate than any competitor. And then if they end up not being able to pay that loan off for socioeconomic reasons, Autos gets that very same car back, which means Dean Watson and Diamond Hand, you know, they make profit off the initial sale from PDM. They make profit off of the sale of the loan in the first place. They make profit off of buying the car back and then selling it again. And then they also make profit off of the second loan that someone, like the loan that someone else had to take on, on the same car. So they're triple, quadruple dipping on one asset. And that's the kind of thing that's super illegal everywhere else, but not illegal here because it's just, it's just Diamond Hand that did it. All right, so what, then what is your business? What are you doing to make, oh, you said you're focusing on a business or something? Oh, yeah, um, my money-making business, when I ever get around to it, would have been like, you know, all the information of everyone who ever took out a loan is public when, um, when, when Diamond Hand takes it to court. So it's all in the docket, their phone numbers and everything. And then what I did is I just looked at who's defaulting this week or something, and they're in a really des desperate financial situation. I called them up and I said, hey, man, I'm going to help you out of this. Let's get your job here and there and there. This is how you handle your finances. You don't actually have to keep paying just because the app makes you pay. Don't pay in the app anymore. That was also a thing Diamond Hand did was like, if you keep paying in the app, we're going to keep the money, even though you, know, you don't act technically owe us the money anymore. So it was just saving the money that way and getting them back on their feet. And the business would have just been doing that, although that would mean cutting into Diamond Hands profits. And that's not, you know, when you're when you're a pretty small guy, you don't you don't really want to get that kind of attention in any way. But now, yeah, that no, I've, but it know, is smart. Some, I, I do yeah. like the idea of this, actually. Um, yeah, yeah. But I didn't want to do it when I was just going to get crushed. But now I have an entirely, you know, but now I'm the guy who also did ketamine for everybody. So I've got a little bit more pull. Um. I I almost don't want you to give up on your academy business, Roman. I don't think anyone else deserves to run it but you. Uh, maybe, but hey, you know, you gotta you gotta be willing to let go of things, right? Because it's it's a risky operation. I could get burned any day. In fact, I'm I should be like you know the whole thing should be done. I got wrangled, right? That's the end for anybody else. For me, it's me now. Just. Again, shackling Wrangler, I want that to be the verb that catches on, you know? Like, for everyone else, the drug operation's done, Wrangler got hands on it. For me, it's borrowed time now. Now I just get to have fun with it, and I gotta let it go and build something else up again. And then, you know, just just keep doing it. You know, why why just be the ketamine guy when I can just be, like, the guy who did other stuff? It's just, this is not my magnus opus. It should be... See, I just want it to be my first thing. No, I, I see what you're saying. Uh, that's respectable. Um, I mean, I, I kind of operate in the same fashion. Um, wow, it's very, uh, very interesting phone call. Uh, where the? F uh, okay, yeah. Um, but also, hey, where the fuck's my car? Thing. Your car oh, no. went through of the <laughs> void and then landed on a motorcycle. And blew up and I think someone yeah, that bike blew up your car. You guys are fucking pieces of shit. Hey, Roman, uh, give me one second. Sure. Why are you so mean now, Lando? What? You said we're... <laughs> what? Don't turn this on me! <laughs> huh? What's with the attitude, Lando? <laughs> what do you mean, what's with the attitude? I think you guys should settle this in a 1v1 TDM. I will destroy Lando. Do it. I don't know. You want to settle this, Lando? Do you do want to settle this? I yes. don't think you will. Do it. Are you sure you want to settle yeah. this? Hey, uh, hold on. Just let me finish this phone call. Listen, uh, Roman, call me when you're out of jail. Uh, okay. I'll call you in like five, six hours if you're... Yeah, you give me a call. We'll sit down. We'll talk. I'm very interested in what you're working on. Okay, wait. I, 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 another important question. Does Kirk Jerkum still work at Roosters? Do not touch that man with a 10-foot pole. He's problems. Why? And I fired him a long time ago. problems. Yeah, I've... Great. I know he got hired again because I helped him collect the materials, even though he said he was doing it solo. Um, oh, wait, I yeah, did rehire not... him. I haven't seen him. Yeah. Wait, he didn't do okay. it? He, he, what, what, what? No, he didn't. He didn't do it entirely by himself. I helped him. And then when he said, you know, I'm going to tell people I did it by myself. I'm like, I'm whatever, man. You're my boy. You need help. But he's also, like you said, massive problems. He's now fucking up the whole ketamine thing. 
and we go way back. So I, I wanted to be easy on him, but I figured if I can say, Hey, I called Lane and got you fired. That would at least get him to stop being a fucking idiot. Roman, you are a very interesting man. Call me when you're out of jail. Will do. Oh, man. Holy shit. Let's go, Lando. Let's go, Lando. Okay. Let's settle this shit. Okay. Mm. Why'd you lock it? Oh, yeah, do you want your heavies? Uh, nah, you were awake for uh, sag. I'm on fire. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> He's on fire. Is Bane on fire? Make the fucking lobby, Lando, and I ain't paying for it, bitch. Uh, oh, shit, what up, Lane? God, hell yeah. What's that? <laughs> oh, no. If you die in the game, you die in the fight. Die in real life. Right, what guns it's do you like, want to oh, use, no, huh? Look at all that blood. Oh, uh, you pick, but no oh, fucking God. dog shit cringe slumping, all right? Uh, I would never do that. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, hey, man, listen, I got to settle the dispute with my boy here. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, no spawn yeah. killing because that's cringe. Hey, get away from Lennon. That is kind of cringe. Hey, guys, back off around uh, Lennon so we can get up. Is it melee time? Uh, do we, oh. we should probably just both use uh, the same we'll gun. What, what gun do you want to use? We'll do, uh, I don't know. Melee. I don't care. I'm so excited. You pick. Yeah, yeah, normal last AKs. One, last one I All right, normal AKs. AKs. Barry pick. There you go. First to 30. Password's 1, 2, 3. Lobby is 2 L's make a W. Yeah, you guys are rats, by the way. Fucking I'm in. Let's go. What do you mean we're rats? Uh, what do you mean we're rats? It's literally five v four. Pussies, pussies. What do you mean we're rats? Nah, no, it was fun. I'm joking. I'm telling you that that. I I actually believe that Lando was cracked at shooting, but I really just want to see it. Oops. That was like a horrible uh, pull to hold. I feel like you should be able to heal in uh in this chat. Why do I spawn right here, dude? Hell not. Wait. Oh, I guess you can't. Can you heal and see us go? I honestly don't remember. You can't, right? Damn, I forgot, dude. I haven't played CSGO in so long. Holy shit.
I shouldn't have peeked that angle there. I can only see his head. He could probably see a lot more. We should have done like first to 15, dude. 30? I ain't trying to play this for two hours. A nice teleport there, Lando. Okay. Wait, he bled out. I didn't get the point. What? That's a scam and a half. Oh, he saw my arrow. I forgot he can see that shit. This should high key be tied up, uh, tied up right now, right? Or six, seven. The fuck is he, bro? I was gonna say, bro, how's he not fucking dying? I love that he like had the death animation and kept shooting me. That's amazing, bro. I feel like my shots are like are hitting so much. Like what is that death animation, bro? Like what die, man? I don't know how people actually have fun shooting in GTA. Like it's the most scuffed shit on the planet. Bro, 
Bro, how is he not dead? Like, how, how is he not dead? Can somebody explain that to me? How many shots? I couldn't even pull my fucking gun out. Are you serious, brother? Hop in a little spawn camping, bro. I'm gonna spawn camp this motherfucker. I gotta figure, find out where he spawns, bro. Is burst better? Uh, it's better. It's technically like in a 1v1 new map. You shouldn't have to burst, but maybe you still do. I don't know. I mean, Lando doesn't burst at all. Like he just fucking holds down left click. Like Lando just strafes and bursts, chat. I don't think you have to burst in this. How is he still alive? Yo, he knows where I spawn. That's actually funny. <laughs> He's memorized the spawn points, bro. <laughs> He's holding every angle on every spawn point.
My man's just sweating. Oh, he's getting scared to push, bro. Oh, you sweat now, eh, Lando, bitch? I'm gonna live so long, I'm gonna run out of ammo. Oh, come on, dude. You're the fucking pot, are you serious? He's smart for playing those poles. You can strafe through them like crazy. Like, I can't get angles, and you can just shoot the same angle that I'm holding. I'm not fighting that. Yeah, he, he's playing that to jiggle peek like crazy. It's smart. It's actually smart. Got him, though. I didn't count for him. Oh, finally, I get that on my side. Hell yeah. I didn't count for him, right, chat? He loves playing these poles, dude. I learned you, Lando. I learned you, bitch. He's going to push me to the left side. He only plays these fucking windows he can jiggle peek in, bro. Where you at, Lando? Come on, buddy. I ain't pushing your Jiggle Peak fucking windows, buddy. I am playing your game. Oh my God, it happened again. That's actually huge for me, bro. <laughs> but did I kill him too and it didn't count? Or was it just a scuffed death animation? Oh, if he died there and it didn't count, that's fucking bad for me. I don't want to push these windows, dude. I'm going to regret this.
Come on, he had a spawn right there. How does he even s they shoot through the wall? Like what? How many headshots does it take? I was reloading. I should have kept my fucking gun out, dude. Hold the fucking gun out! Oh, I'm scuffed. Nice. Oh, my gun is... Dude, I feel like 90% of my shots just don't register on this guy. First person is really powerful. Is that what he's doing, bro? Is that the secret?
first person is absolute garbage. You literally can't aim in first person. First person literally does nothing. Come on, bro. You gotta do it as soon as you fucking spawn, Lando. You spawn camping bitch. I see your oh no, that's a that's a red light, that's not your red arrow. Bro, he loves to hold here with all the jiggle peeking. This is where he'll always be at. Oh, come on. Where is he? How the fuck did he get over there, bruh? She was at the play zone. Lana, oh, Lana, the amount of times you bled out and then it counts my point is fucking bullshit. So yeah, I think I counted that and I think you had uh, one extra down, kill like, at the end. Because we equaled in the amount of times you bled out. Did we? Except for one. So it's pretty You guys gotta pick a better Let's map though. That one. map is so trash. Yeah, yeah, we're working on them. Oh. GG's though, buddy. GG's you gotta own. I didn't get owned, camping motherfucker. Bitch. It was a close ass game. Camping bitch? You and that fucking that fucking tree on Legion. Lando, you camp the fucking jiggle peak windows. That's the only spot you stay in so you can strafe and use desync to your advantage because <laughs> you're garbage. I walk to that while I'm pushing you. Oh Every I gotta time. Oh shit, I gotta grab my shit. I gotta grab my shit. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, Bucky. Hey, Bear, unlock this shit. All right, daddy. Says him, he says, I'm wiggling. Are you fucking serious, buddy? All right, let's see what I got. Never take cover. Yeah, there should be. They should have mat like one v one maps where it's like purely open, just for just for like full on aim skill. Kind of like in Rust.
Hey, Staggy. Hello. Do you want your heavies? Motherfucker, I asked you for my heavies two weeks ago, Stag. Yeah, and I just got them the day before last. But how 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 is it always yesterday. the same song? I put in an order, and it takes you guys two weeks to get them. I don't get it. I don't know. I just wait until I'm told the order's ready. It takes two weeks. I guess it wasn't two weeks. Also, it was a week. Nah, it was like a week and a half in the reality. Yeah. 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 Okay, but do you want them? <laughs> Um, I don't need them right now. No. I already have some. How many do you have? Because you ordered 10. I have five right now. So, and I, and I actually haven't been going to jail as much as I thought I'd be going. I haven't gone to jail in like 17 days. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyways, it's going to be 55 grand because you still ordered them. Bitch. No, 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 no. Go fuck yourself, Stag. Do you order them? Pay for them. No, nope. I ordered them. I expect them to be delivered in a reasonable amount of time. You guys took so fucking long. I went to somebody else. That's how business works, Lando. What do you? Uh, yeah, who's someone? Who's somebody else? What did you just call me? Or uh, sorry, I'm thinking of Lando right now. But uh, Stag, I ordered them from. I think Dean got them for me. Yeah, and he probably got them from the same place at the exact same time my order came in. Freak. No, I got these pistols like four days ago. Yeah, and that's when my order was ready. Bullshit, Stag. Bullshit, your yeah. order was ready four days you ago. Otherwise, you would have given you it to me four them. days ago, motherfucker. You got them two days ago because that's when all the orders were ready. No, I swear to God, I got them like four days ago. No, you didn't. I swear to God. No, you didn't. I, I promise you, Stag. Yeah, I even spam called you that day to see if I can grab the pistols off you first, and then you weren't answering. I don't know if you weren't around or whatever. Yeah, probably not if it was early. And then, uh, and then I said, fuck it. Dean's like, I'll get you some pistols. So I cannot buy those, Stag. That's how business works. It's not my fault. You guys can't get your shit together and fucking fill, fulfill orders. At least within a 24-hour period when they're placed. That is just realistically never going to happen. It's never happened with this. Uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know what you guys are doing. But you guys just, you know. Listen, I, I started acquiring materials for these wingsuits, right? In like four days, I had 20,000 refined of each material I needed. And now I'm fulfilling orders like a motherfucker. Try buying them under a name that's not yours. Why? You can just buy mass buy materials. Who's going to question it? No, but I mean, see if you'll get as many dealers for someone who's not you. Oh, please. Don't act like you motherfuckers aren't just as reputable as I am. Everybody loves the guild, Stag. What do you mean you? Uh, that's not that's not the people I do this shit with. This is a different group. I get all I do is buy mats. I only do orders as a favor. Um, I put mats to these people. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure the people that run it too have a good reputation to build connections. I don't want to hear those excuses, to be honest. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not the one who does this shit. Mr. Listen, Tony's give me give me give me a couple days and I'll buy them. All right. And he still don't do nothing. All right. All right. And sorry then, about that. I love you. You gotta show me the place. Uh, yeah, I can show you. Meet me at, uh, you have a car? Yeah. All right, pick me up at the courthouse. Courthouse? All right. All what? right. Hey, Buddha, what's your state ID? Why the fuck are you in my state ID, bitch? It's important, bro. What is it? Well, you better tell me or I ain't telling you. Tell me! You tell me why I need my state ID. I'll show you right now. Just come on. It's sick. It's sick. Try I don't trust you. Don't tell me. <laughs> tell me. Please, ID, please. Why? Okay, then forget it. I guess you okay, don't Okay, okay, okay. Just come on. Just tell me why. I'll tell you after. No, because you're going <laughs> to... Why? Forget it. Forget it. You already all right, all right. it. Tell me. All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. 1391. Okay, okay, what it is. All right, thank you. Why? Look at your phone. Why are you charging me gas? I need gas. I'm broke. You're so dumb, Marty. Please help. Marty, I'm fucking broke, Marty. I'm stranded. <laughs> Alright, do it again. Do it again. I'll pay for it. <laughs> One, three, nine. <laughs> I'm stranded. There you go.
Wait, it didn't let me. What the fuck? So you just scammed me. Just scam me, Marnie. Oh no, we're good now. We're good now. We're good now. We're good now. Thank you so much. No problem. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. All right, go to roosters and then go to the church. Good. I can steal some food. The goat. Why do you sit in bed, look at Abby, and just bark, man? Such a bad habit he's developed, man. It's like he's just sitting on the bed looking at Abby and then barks. How's the rover getting? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Oh, I gotta get some food, man. What am I eating today? I'm gonna get a protein bowl, some chicken. He's getting ready to charge up another bark. All right, let's go. Did you pay your loan? Uh, no. <laughs> what do you did mean? Did you gamble? Yeah, didn't give me the money I asked. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> yes, he did. He told me he did. That's a fucking lie. We all voted on it. We said, sure, give him a mil. But then I said, you should just pay it through the app for him. He said, Wait, so that's where that a million dollars came from? <laughs> you think you just got a million dollars out of nowhere? Yeah. Why don't you guys tell me? I would have paid the loan back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose it all? Yeah, I just thought I had a million dollars in my account. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that actually from Jaeger? <laughs> yes. Holy shit. Okay, listen. Give me a million dollars and I'll actually pay the loan back. I didn't know it was from you guys. I'm no cap on God. Well, it was from Jaeger. Why don't you guys just call me and let me know that? I don't know. That's your son, man. <laughs> All right. Don't tell Jaeger, please. Stag, I'm down bad, my friend. I'm not talking about money. Jewelry killed my restaurant. Your arcade yeah. <laughs> killed my arena. My wine company uh, makes me no money. I'm operating at a loss. Marmalade, uh, God knows when it's going to be ready. What the fuck do I do here, Stag? What? Hold on. What the fuck is Marmalade? Fucking like the... heroin, dumbass. Oh. Yeah. Well, at least I reduced the overall cost for wine by like $100,000. Yeah, you're a legend for that. And if we don't buy the boxes, then it's even cheaper to produce. Which I don't think we'll be using the boxes anyways, to be honest. I can't believe a motherfucker can wear a ring in this city to not eat food all day. I actually can't believe that. Yeah. Apparently people are just buying them in bulk and they never go into the restaurant. Yeah. Like, it's actually insane to me that, like, we, we went through all this trouble to solve the restaurant problem only to fuck it a hundred times harder than ever before. <laughs> like, it's actually crazy to me. Not only did goons stock up on farmer's market food before the farmer's market shut down, but now they have uh, mystical rings. That it's actually insane. In stomach and fill them up. Hey, uh, F1 muscle, F1 muscle.
I'm gonna watch Canelo tonight. I'm gonna have some beers tonight, chat. Maybe is that pool on? Jesus, gotta be like. I'm gonna go in the pool. Like I haven't drank beers in oh, like shit. literally two months. Welcome to our opium den, Stag. Oh God, I hope it doesn't end up like that. What do you mean? Opium dens? Those are gross. Well, I mean, you know, so we're gonna grow all the poppies and make heroin. Damn, this is nice. Yeah. Now here's what I was thinking. I was thinking of distri uh, distributing the heroin. Okay, so I'm gonna fuck it. It's about time I leak some information. So you see that laptop over there? Mm -hmm. It's a very secure laptop from you know, a couple of my associates overseas, and uh, essentially, uh, they're gonna be sending me some info. Uh, there's a lot of bikers in the city who are trying to uh, bring heroin here. Hello? Uh, sorry, I was just losing my uh, mind on my dog. Um, anyways, um, I lost all my train of thought. Let me restart. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Bikers. Uh, fuck it. I'm not making a background story. That laptop is going to send us information to uh, essentially uh, hit uh, certain spots in the city to acquire poppies uh, and poppy seeds. And uh, it's going to bring a lot of heat. We're probably going to have to kill a lot of bikers and probably run, run, uh, run away from the cops when we do it. Uh, similar, so you know the meth run? Yeah. So um, you know how the meth run is the end goal? Yeah. So imagine the meth run, but instead of a meth run, it's like the first step. So it starts off crazy. So it starts off crazy. We get the seeds, then we grow the heroin, and then we distribute it to the people in the city. And the nice. kicker is, is uh, I can either put my own crew together to do it, or I can get crews to also do it for me. Are they going to know what's in it? Uh, yes. But they don't have, we've been building this grow up here. Uh, they won't have any of the technology to do anything with it, so it's useless to them. Mm. So if we even wanted to test it as well, you know, for the first run, we can give it to a crew just to see how hot it is. And if things ever get really fucking hot, we can just give it to fucking crews we don't give a fuck about in hopes they can acquire it. Or also, you know, if we're bored and want to do it ourselves, we can also do it ourselves. There's very, very, very many avenues we can, uh, you know, take this. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of, uh, I guess, crews trying to make a name for themselves, too. You know, the only reason uh, I'm saying this is because uh, I'm thinking maybe we make an alias for this entire operation. I think. I think so. It's always good to have an extra degree of separation, even if people ignore it anyways. Yeah. Now, we can go down, like, uh, the old school route, you know, if I can make a character, give him a name, which could be cool. But like I said, I don't want to do dead drops, though. Yeah. I want to actually set up meets, you know. I want to go into the fucking, the, you know, the tension of the south side. I want to go into fucking Mr. Uh, Mr. K's fucking office. You know, I want to talk deals. I want to talk numbers. I want to talk distribution pipelines, you know, uh, what they require, what they want, what they, you know, what they want, what they need. So it's the overall plan, get people addicted to heroin? Uh, well, that's the thing. We're going to have to, essentially, we're going to, there's going to be a lot of R&D, right? It's not going to be good heroin. It's going to be shit heroin probably in the beginning. And we're going to have to figure out how to fine tune oh, yeah. into amazing heroin and then God knows what it's going to fucking do. Yeah. Now I do, I have been working on something. Uh, so I built a suit. For Mary. Uh, and I was so impressed with the blueprints that I've been in touch with this guy. Uh, and we're working together to build me another suit. Ooh. And it's yeah. going to run on heroin. Now we can use that suit as an alias, but I also want to use that suit for reset. But I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think that's ever going to happen. 
I mean, isn't I, for that? I think kind of the whole goal is that it never has to happen. Yeah. And then uh, we can use that as an alias. That can bring back uh, the old school uh, voice too that I used to use uh, for Shadow. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So who all is involved? Uh, so far, not really anyone in terms of Eve is going to help with R and D. I want Sunny to help her, uh, with the growing in here. That's pretty much all I have. And security is going to help with transports, but they're not going to really know what's going on half the time. Yeah. Now in a world, Unless I've always imagined me rolling up, you know, fucking six Range Rovers into the fucking South side, 30 security guards hop out. They fucking surround the building as I walk in there to talk to the fucking leader of a gang to sell heroin. But I don't think we can go down that route. I think it would get burned very quickly, but it would look aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> That's why you roll over there and sell them barrels of wine. Yeah. So there's a lot of things to figure out, but that's kind of the first step. Now, I don't really know much else from that is going to happen. The only reason I felt like I had to, you know, say that part is because I, we really do need to start planning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are uh, Dean and Leslie aware of this, too? Oh, well, I guess I know Dean is because he went in there with us. I'm aware of the heroin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leslie's a heroin addict. <laughs> yeah oh okay yeah that's surprising yeah i'd expect dean to get addicted no uh, nobody expected it was to be leslie he doesn't even smoke weed and now he's a heroin addict <laughs> oh, i guess it's not a gateway drug huh no now uh yeah so that's kind of my idea it's it's the reason why i think about this is because i think a lot about time lord and i actually have one of my biggest regrets with it is I kind of wish I kept it all unknown. Yeah. Because you probably wonder why I never wear the suit. And the reason why I don't wear the suit is because everybody knows it's me. So it kind of took the fun away. It took the fun away for it. In reality, I should have never even let people know who owned the DeLorean. I was going to say, you drive the DeLorean that has the fucking... <laughs> yeah, like I should have... I, I, I should have... Don't get me wrong. Like Those are some of the best days of my life. I fucking miss... I miss that when I miss all that shit. And in reality, you're always going to wish you did some things different in your life. That's just the reality. I don't regret it, but. So when I think about this, I think about it's way more interesting when it's an alias. Nobody really knows. You know, because like when I made the Time Lord suit, I love that suit. But what am I going to wear when I fucking do crime? The cops know it's me. You know what I mean? What am I going to wear to a... The racing regardless scene? of what you do, the cops are going to assume it's you regardless. Based off everything that's ever happened to us. Yeah, I mean, that that's always going to be a factor. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, I kinda, I'm kind of i down to create an alias. And uh, kind of use... Okay. I take what I was doing with Shadow, with Talon, right? But I do it with heroin almost. So I, yeah. I turn a lot of security guards, you know, they have the Cerberus suits, but then they have like just simple blacked out shit. And when I meet with motherfuckers, I got like 40 fucking guards and I'm sitting on my throne and they walk up the steps for my heroin. I think it'd be pretty badass. Yeah, like a cool ass throne. Yeah, a throne of heroin. And they come to the steps, please, sir, can I have some more? And I say, take it, filthy peasant. Yes. Yeah. That'd be badass. Right? It'd be a badass way to go about it. I really want to show you the fucking the schematics that we're working on, too. I mean, this is going to be probably the craziest suit I've ever had. I'm not even joking. Like, I'm telling you, it's the fucking crazy shit. Do it. I'll probably see it anyways. Oh, you've seen it already? Jagger showed it to you, yeah. didn't he? Why would you show it to him? I knew he would have shown the fucking nerds, cocksucker. He didn't show shit yet. Now I'm going to ask him that. Oh. I mean, I'm kind of down to show a little sneak peek of it right now, but... Uh, Just don't show, you know, 
otherwise <laughs> okay what if i just show the helmet right now do it Fuck. roll a dice or flip a coin one yes two no Fuck. Fuck. But I don't know if it's, I don't mind showing it, but I also feel like it might be cooler just to see the end product. Do it, make them wait. Make the world wait. Fuck it, I'll show it. I'll show, I'll show just the, just the helmet, that's it. Just the helmet, that's it. Leaks. Did you see it? Where? Fuck, oh, okay, I'll, I'll email it to you. <laughs> what's uh, what's your thing again? Yeah. I don't even know what your thing is. What's your thing again? I am not texting it to you. <clears throat> oh, GGQL, that's what it is. There. Jesus. Yeah, it's some real fucking dark looking shit, right? Looks like some shit you can actually wear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, uh, exactly. I mean, it's, uh, I was gonna do it for reset, but I don't think it's ever gonna happen, so I don't mind creating an alias for, for heroin and then just using the shadow voice with it. Do it, go for it. What's the downside? So uh, the only downside, the, the only potential downside is if we ever do that shit and we target somebody who we're going to fuck over and then they know it's tied to the heroin guy. Yeah, you just get a different one for that. Oh, I mean, me and this guy, you know, we're going to be working on a lot together. You know, I've, I was absolutely. I mean, you still have that mask down in the basement too. Yeah, but I think point, I think at that point we just leave that there. I'm not going to lie. I'm afraid if you touch it, it might crumble. It's been there a long time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know what I really want? I really want to fucking have all my suits on display like I'm fucking Batman. That's what I really fucking want. You need, like, a hidden room just for you. Yeah, and like the fucking suits just come out of the ground like I'm fucking Batman. That'd be sick. Fuck. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is uh, hopefully going to be operational soon. Just got to, you know, make sure the, the air filtration is correct. You know, hook up the water, you know internet all that shit and we'll be good to go it's gonna be dope is all the processing and shit gonna happen in here too uh i don't know everything else is uh up to uh mystery dun 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 yeah dun, dun, dun. 
Let's get out of here. Holy shit, that is a gigantic air filtration system over there. Yeah. Oh, it's a wall. Oh, no, we have a little clock in thing. <laughs> yeah, we clock in the work. Let's, let's grow some opium there, Staggy Waggy. Be my head for one second. So I saw Mr. Mickey's not on the app. Oh, he anymore. quit. He quit? Yeah, me and Mickey, when it comes to me and Mickey outside of business, two peas in a pod. Business, we're like oil and water. There's no mix. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, he doesn't like me being his boss, you know? He's very free form, to say Yeah, that. he's a free spirit, and I'm very, uh, I'm very harsh. That's why I like working with you, Stag. You don't really take anything that I say to you personally, you know? Yeah. I think some people just care too much. Yeah. Like, if you fuck up, I know I can yell at you for fucking up and you'll be okay with it. You're not gonna wake up the next day, you know, and just leave. Oh, the misery. Yeah, some people be emotional and shit. Yeah, for show, for show. You need to go anywhere? Uh, I need to go put this key at uh, Roosters. <laughs> Never be too straight. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I ordered food. Thanks, thanks. Got any rings? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually started paying for food at the rooster because I felt bad for stealing it. I wouldn't be surprised if the cops started buying a bunch of rings in bulk. Oh, probably, yeah. You got food rings, you got health rings. Coming through. All right, Stag, we'll be in touch. All right. Love you. Time to steal food. Don't tell me you like that horse, please. Please. Uh, no, why? Okay. All right, there's hope for you. I barely know him. I don't think... I don't think I've ever saw him. Hey, on, Patrick, can I get of... a... Oh, can I get a ring, please? I'm hungry. A ring? Yeah. Oh, you mean like a jade ring? 
Yeah, you got any rings? I'm starving. I actually have one. No, I'm just kidding. I'll get a bowl of ramen and a tea, please. All right. Thank you. Speaking of cops. Yeah. Are you a cop lady? No. You work here? No. Oh, all right. What's up, Dewey? How you doing, baby? That's my brother. I'm doing too bad. There you go. Right Wait, Dewey's your brother? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's my sister. Oh, I think we both did it. No, I'll take all the extra food. Don't worry. All right, take it. Why all right, thanks, guys. Everybody here. have a good day. You too. You as well. Hey, Stag, Stag, come here. Hold on, Bjorn. Be quiet. Hey, is that, was that Petunia? No, that's, uh, I'm pretty, I forgot what her fucking name is, but I'm pretty sure we met her, like, a very long time ago. It's supposed to be his sister or some shit. Now, Dewey uh, has okay. spoken about Petunia before, like, just a month ago. Apparently, they used to work the farmer's market together pretty often. Right, I see. always forgot and have never prioritized that in a very long time, so. All right, we keep a close eye on her, all right? I'll go to the courthouse. Right. She looks creepy. Catch you later. What? You doing, buddy? You got all got. I got senses, Zuko. I can only sense when you're up to no good, buddy. You think I'm dumb? Huh? I do love you, though, boy. I love you so much. Chad, is X still alive? Jesus. What, 20 hour stream again? He messaged me squad games later, but I'm wondering when later is if he's been live for 20 hours. He's playing Space Tar. He's playing Marauders? I'll play right now if he's playing. Is he solo or is he with a full squad? Charity, um, I was going to pass off one of my clients to you. I recommended you personally to them. So hopefully you would take them on. Um, I wanted to check out, what was it? Roman Shanks? What was his name? Shacks? Sorry, I was in the middle of editing and you started recording. I had to stay for four minutes. I don't think I've ever met How's this guy going, before, man? dude. Good, how's it going? Just dodged nines. Yeah. Oh, he's got a record. In the car with Mike Block and you decided to grab a lifer and drive with them. Yeah, but I'm trying oh. to get this I jumped out that bitch real quick. Baby. You're the best wife ever. Chat, I got to pee real quick. We're back.
We're early. Yeah, quite a bit. Let's see. Sorry, let me do some math real quick. Hmm. All right. And today's been a good day. Of, it's been a good Saturday of RP, man. I was not expecting today just to be like one of those days where it's just non-stop. Riders, please. I DM Dex see if he wants to play. I'm down to play with him. Is he still getting hacked, though? Stream tomorrow? We are streaming tomorrow. You know who I also want to speak with, dude? Fucking AJ. Did this guy, like, just disappear? Chat, you guys, we're going to watch some clips while I eat food because I'm actually really hungry. I want to just, I mean, I'm going to eat this too fast anyways and regret it, but. I'm going to watch clips. I'm going to eat food. For dinner, protein bowl, dude. Chicken, rice, veggies, some eggs. I've actually, I've actually been eating healthy, chat. Oh my god, that was so nerve wracking. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking. Oh man. Oh, we did it. We did it. I was just like, I wasn't looking at my screen. I was just looking down. I was like, I just gotta talk. No. I just gotta, I just gotta go with, I just gotta go with, uh, you know, let the, let the work for it speak for itself. This is everything I've done so far. This is what I'm thinking. And this is why I'm calling you. Stick to, you know, no fluff. Aww. Are that intimidating chat? Shit, bro. Maybe I, oh no. Help me please! Oh what's that? what's wrong? I'm having a stroke! Kev. Sit down. Let's sit down. Skip! <laughs> I miss Harry so much. It's gotta be a heist. Like, there's just no way it's not. Can at the gang. Oh, we got a sign. What about this oh, thing? I'm, I'm signed in. Tony, I got I got a dip for five minutes. I gotta do a deep. I gotta have a meeting. But... <laughs> I gotta have a meeting. But... Intentional assassination. Get in the car if you want to escape, lifers! Get in the car if you don't oh, want to be in prison! Oh, I ain't. <laughs> hey, Jaka. hi, hello. What's good? Jaka said hell no. Hi, I. <laughs> we got you, dog. You free now, yo. You free! Please, please. You free, dog. You free. <laughs> we saved you. Dude, that'd be so sick if they can be on the run. Hey. Fucking you, okay. Hey, put 
one back over here. For some reason, it's like fucking it, out. Yeah, it's it's a little bit. You're okay, motherfuckers. What? Fucking it's bitch. It's cool. You're okay, motherfuckers. Little bitch ass. <laughs> ah, Ampy. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this view. <laughs> Okay, uh, you'll be the first window. You take his order. What can I get for you? Hey, um, can I get a turkey breast sandwich? <laughs> yeah. Turkey I miss the homies in Texas, I won't lie. Unfortunately, we're out of that. Okay. Can, I get, can I get a combo number five? No tomatoes? Yeah, we'll right up to the next window. I, was, I miss kissing Poke in the bathroom. Hello, <laughs> that would be five dollars. Do nothing with Nick. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm Elena. Five dollars. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. I gotta go to visit McDonald's. them, bro. <laughs> Here you go, <laughs> sir. Totally not the same. Oh. <gasps> The <laughs> oh, fuck you just say? <laughs> they just went in the house! Alex and Dom! <laughs> wow, when they. Wow. Let me get at you a question. Guys, please, I don't care about clips from last year, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm dying, man. I'm dying. What the fuck? I, what the fuck was this? <laughs> it's probably the most fake moment I've ever had in role plays. Look, I'm dead. Bro, this is a year old, man. Oh, Kev. How's it going? Oh. Hello, Kevin. Looking good today. Don't you know I'm caught in a twap? I can't look okay. back. Because I love you too much, baby. You ain't oh, nothing but hound dog. <laughs> Thank you very much. Is that for you too? Oh, Kev. How's it going? Oh, oh Kevin. Looking good today. Don't you know I'm caught in a twap? <laughs> This protein bowl is so good, dude. Y'all see me dodging locals, though? Like I was Goku in Ultra Instinct that race. Y'all can't say I wasn't. Y'all cannot say I wasn't, bruh. I would. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's it to them? <laughs> I be eating water burger every fucking night. Yeah, I know I get the large burger with the fries. Yeah, you know I'm going fucking crazy on the fries. PBL jeans, yeah, I like her thighs. You know that I'm high, yeah. I got the supply, yeah. Go oh. all night, yeah. Watch it gonna ride, yeah. Oh. Give me fucking brain, yeah. Watch it gonna go off oh, for the fucking day, yeah. Uh. Oh. Outside my warehouse, I'm packing my sweet so I can deliver myself a better life for Gulag. Uh, life for gulag. Uh, 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 uh. I be eating water burger every single night. Yes, you wanna lean over, drink some of my spr That's a banger, bruh. By the way, your daughter is very cool. Hey, thanks, man. She'll be like 18. Yeah. She's what? 18? The egg case are 18, oh. man. Get your mind out of the gutter. 
Oh, 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 okay. I was so confused. I thought you were what telling me your daughter's 18. I'm so, I was like, damn, she's living young, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Jesus, Ray. Okay, wait. Uh, she's legal, is what I meant. So, like, uh, anyway. Yeah, the AKs listen. are legal, man. <laughs> Bruh. You're wild, man. Uh, yeah, the AK. That is a minus okay, five million speech. Bro, you finished your dinner already? Yeah, I destroyed that protein bowl, bro. Hey, you trying to talk to one of us or are you just doing something? Uh, I was just eating my dinner, sir, watching some clips on my phone. <clears throat> okay, no problem. Thought you were waiting for one of us. Just woke up. I don't know. Sorry about that. No problem, man. You're good. You have a good night. You inhale the guys? I'm a big dude, man. I gotta call Jaeger. I'm 6'2", 230 pounds, chat. I want to play Marauders, man. You don't look 230. I, I wear it well, man. I wear it well. I was I went all the way down to what, like 187 right before my wedding. I was doing so good, man, being so healthy, <laughs> you know, and then COVID hit, my gym shut down, and I just started eating McDonald's and Domino's and drinking beer. Oh yeah, I haven't had home gym right now. I've been hitting it almost every day. <coughs> you have a key for Marauders? Yeah, I have the game already. I already installed it. I already lost all my gear in that game in like an hour. I have a park gym. I hit it four or five times a week. That's sick, dude. Park gyms are actually sick. I'm not gonna lie, you're jacked before COVID. I wasn't really jacked before COVID. I, I focused a lot on cardio. I mean, I was hitting the weights a lot, but I was definitely like, I even got like way too skinny. I, I didn't want, like, I want to, ideally for me, like, I want to be like 190, 200. But I slimmed down a lot for my wedding, then I was gonna bulk up to like 200. Is Blau not streaming today?
He's on Ray stream. <clears throat> I miss I miss old Blah man when he was around like every day. It was like more full time when he had a job, man. Such. How long have I been married? I think three years. Something like that. Two years, three years, four years. Bang, you should go. I got invited, but I got I had to stream today. Combos, ramen, delicious teas. Come get it. Let me DM X real quick. Where the fuck are the customers? I don't know. That's a we very good question. Right have we been dead all night? Yeah. Those are not yeah, pretty people. much. Very few customers. Then again, like town halls apparently about to start up soon, so that's why. Yeah, there's a good chance. I'm not gonna tweet that actually. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be over there. Hello? Hello? What's going on, my friend? Nothing much. Just enjoying bringing people in with the power of my hips. How's that going? Pretty good, you see. I mean, it really, it's like 50% increase, which is like four customers to six customers. So it's not yet impressive, but it's still fun. Okay, hell yeah. Yeah, how about yourself? Well, I just own the place, and I've never really seen somebody outside here dancing, uh, trying to get some customers, you know? Oh! Oh, all right, it's Mr. Porter. Yeah, I, I don't know you, but, you know, I've seen you when I'm working, and they're like, Oh, there's Mr. Porter in here. It's nice to meet you, sir. What's your name, sir? My name is Wolf. My full name is Wolfgang, but you can call me Wolf. How long have you been working here? Oh, maybe like a month or something like that. Not very long. Okay, hell yeah. Well, uh, glad to have you on board, yeah. my friend. Oh, I'm glad to be on board. Thank you, sir. It means a lot. No problem, sir. I hope you have a good day. You too. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, my friend. Guten Tag. So, let's do a little bit of variety. I think uh, for, a good, for a Saturday, I think it was a good day, man. Usually, it's uh, the, the server's dead right at the start of the stream, but it was popping. It was a good day. I want to talk to Jaeger, though, before we get off. We'll play, some, we'll play some solo Marauders, dude. I really want to check it out on stream. Oh, the Xbox, I DM'd him, but I think he's in a game. Also, like, unironically, I really like Blood Hunt. This game is a lot of fun. It's like guns. It literally reminds me of guns, by the way, just so you guys know. But uh, there's too many uh, aim assist controller Andes in that game. For 70 years, we've lived in the shadows of the grave.